folks. Welcome to your Sunday mornings, Urban Art AF, always finding ways to create dope art with you. Welcome, ladies and gents. It's a girl, Miss Create, and I am happy to say I am alive and we woke up this morning, and it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. Got the shout out to my boy, L in the house. How you doing, sweetheart? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You was up early on my post today, huh? I appreciate you so much, Al. Totally do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How was your jump session yesterday? I'm sorry I didn't get to check on you, but I was trying to work this damn Shopify account out, work with Shopify, try to get my stuff up and running. And I do, guys. The good news today. Let's do the good news dance. Hey, hey. Now, you're not going to see me do the good news dance, but my site is up miscreatemerch.com that's m-i-s-c-r-e-8 merch and e-r-c-h.com that's right you girl finally got things up but it's a soft launch guys so i just want to do some testers for all of y'all who's listening to me right now to log on check it out move around hit buttons and see if everything's working if it's not working if it's not correct please give me a shout out trust me for y'all helping me i always get back you yes so you got some posters some pins some stickers for y'all helping me i appreciate that but yes i am live i tried to go behind yesterday when i did my little juneteenth welcome to juneteenth all those free black beautiful americans out there across the, the united states welcome 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 <laughs> and welcome to all my other nationalities out there how y'all doing out there today it's nothing but love human love remember that Always human kindness first. So today I got a lot in store today. We're going to be together for a couple of hours because I got a couple of things I want to do. Yes, I want to do some, start some sneakers. We're going to do one of Hap's employees, sweetheart. The boy himself, Pablo, sent me his helmet. So we're going to start working on his helmet today. We've got, we got a lot to do on this helmet. Um, I've finished a couple of uh, commissions, so his commission is next. So I decided to start it on here. So we're going to show you how you work on helmets, basically. I've done a couple of helmets. And I've done motorcycle helmets. And yeah, motorcycle helmet. I've never done a bike helmet. So this is the first one. This is going to be interesting and fun because it has a totally different texture and feel to it. So that's gonna be fun today. And then we're gonna finish what we did some stuff yesterday, finish that up. And I'm gonna tell you about my website today, of course, my Shopify account. And we're just gonna paint and cool out, talk about some Netflix, you know, I'm a movie buff. So I, I don't know if I knew that, I am a real TV and movie buff. I really am into it. Three things I'm into, art, music, and movies and movies and television the same thing to me so i like to talk about those things so while we're talking about art we're going to talk about some shows i've been viewing today and everything else that comes up in our little conversation so good morning to you sit back relax good afternoon to you if whatever is country state city town hood in a pocket underneath the rock, whatever you at, and you streaming live with me. <laughs> Welcome aboard. I'm going to throw up my website here. I'm going to type this in real fast for you before I switch screens here. And like I said, it's Miss Create Merch, support the love. And I'm going to tell you about my Black Girl Magic. Okay, that's the site, miscreatemerge.com. So please check it out. But what I'm talking about Black Girl Magic, and we do have a lot of Black Girl Magic out there. And I want to give back. So what I'm doing, when y'all support me, I will pay it forth, basically. So for the next month, the next 10 days, um, the end of the Juneteenth, Every time you purchase on Miss Cream merch, 
you get a little extra something, something, Black Girl Magic Package, where it's a box or two or wherever I put it in, because I want it to be magical and dope. And inside there will be some of my art that I either created here on this, most likely all the stuff I created on this platform um, that I've been creating. So yes, the big stuff to the big wooden panels, these big e trays, the 12 by 12 wood art that I've been having fun with. It's all my little samples and everything and that I fell in love with here. I'm going to be giving to you for free. Yes, F-R-E-E-E, -E -E, because we are free, baby. Free to do the things we want to do. So I want to give back to y'all. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm giving back all this art to y'all. So I have a purchase trip from me. Um, we'll get some type of black girl magic, a little bit of love from me to you. And it's just a chair every day, a little extra. So you're definitely spending that money with me. I appreciate that. Because all the money that does come back to me, I put it back into my business. And I definitely want to give back. So I also have a new program that I am starting. Um, it's to give back to Anarism, um Foundation, which is the Brain Institute and gun control and uh one for the kids which is uh the uh boys and girls club i really like the boys and girls club i think it helps a lot of people in the hoods so i want to get back on that too so there's three foundations that i do want to get back to and um that's what i'm trying to get everything together it's going to be on my site the way the money is me going yes i'm spending half my money probably Doing time like 10 percent, 10 percent, 10 percent, or 5 percent, 5 percent. I don't know yet. I'm trying to work it out. But I definitely want to give back to my community, especially the ones that I truly care about. Um, I had an animism, so that's why I mentioned that. Um, my God, it got me really grateful and I'm here today. So I always talk about people in their brain capacity. I, I hope everybody feels and please go get checked out. I know these are hard times with this COVID stuff on, but if you get these migraine headaches, every day constantly all day go get it checked out don't let that guys you just get this sharp pain in your head out of the play of these guys you never really had before and it keeps coming constant every day if you go enough go get checked guys please go get check them brain freezes is not the ice cream cone brain freezes this is the body telling you to go get your ass checked out i was a hard head person and it happened to me but god is good and i'm still here to tell you and as far as gun control I was injured in a, in in that way, so I'm all about. I want to get into that particular case there, and I was injured, and God is good. I'm here again, so I have. A, I'm a, I'm a cat, guys. I have nine lives. I'm probably down to like two, three left of those lives. <laughs> so I gotta take a really precious here because my check is mark is being checked off real fast. <laughs> so. I have to save it my life. So every day is a blessed day that we get up and breathe this air that God gave us. So I feel so blessed to be up in here with y'all right now on this beautiful Sunday morning. So let's turn that over. Let's get to my desk table here and turn it over to the actual lab we are here today. All right, guys. Let me turn this over into my desk here so we can see what we're going to be creating today. Like I do, I am spontaneous, so I don't know exactly what we're going to start with. Yeah, I know. Got to get my music going. We got to get these, my television going. Okay, I got it on this right now. That's going to be truth with y'all. Uh, like I said, I'm on a TV mission while I create. I've been binge watching for the past couple of days while I've been on these laptops and on these easels and stuff. I've been watching a bunch of movies. And right now, I'm on Netflix and I'm on this thing called Sweet Tooth. It's a cute little story, guys. Hold on, let me take this all this stuff off while I'm running my mouth, y'all. Give me a second here. Yeah. I know it takes me a little move, little moment, a little moment. Okay, guys, I think I got everything down correctly. I'm hoping that this is based correctly here because I did move my all oh, shucks it backwards. Okay, guys, give me a second here. 
my uh, my camera is back this bad, so I gotta fix this real fast before I go live. Which I give me one second while I figure this out. Then um, I thought I had this all gaffed out, but of course it's always. Let's see how I can do this here. Oh, no, guys, hold on. Give me a second here. I don't know what I did here, but I. <laughs> hold up, guys. I tried to get my camera. I thought I was focused and faced the right way, but it actually wasn't. So. I gotta reposition it. Yes, I'm repositioning it live right now with y'all. That'll be all right. Just hold on. That'll be all right. Just hold on. Let me get this thing. Maybe I'll just turn it up. Okay, guys. You know what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna work with what we got. I just gotta turn it a certain way and paint a certain way. It's, it's gonna take me all day to try to figure out. <laughs> Let's try to figure this out. So, oh my goodness, hold on, guys. Why do I have these complications right on? I thought I'd be having this set up correctly, but it always turned out to be. Try to get a better angle for y'all. I think I got it. All up, all up. I'm just tighten this up here. I got the range. Hold on. It took me a little second here, guys. It took me a little second. Let's hope it stays right where it's at. Wow. Okay, guys, I think I got it now. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so, I had this so right. I had everything, well, at least I thought I did. Okay, guys, give me a second. Yeah, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working it. For some reason, this damn boy. I need to start this program all over again, huh? <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hold on, guys. Hold on. My husband doesn't want to work with me right now. Oh, shit, I'm going to ice cream lemons. See, I didn't curse. I said sugar, honey, ice cream, lemons. I didn't curse. Mother, I'm about to go. This is pissing me off now. Hold on. I gotta breathe. I gotta breathe because this is just really aggravating. Boy. I said, never messed around. We're gonna try this one. I just move my lights out the way. Hold on. It's a little. I just move the lights out the way. I think we should be okay. Woo! It's kind of up there. But we're gonna rock it anyway. It's just a little bit too far. It's not the way I want it to be, but look, we're gonna work it out now. We are going to work it. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy way to paint today. The way it's set up here, guys. So hold on. I have a crazy way to paint today. Oh, 
sucks. Yes, yeah, okay. We're gonna transition over. All right, guys. I'm transitioning over to best way I can get this going here. Ah, sorry about the transition. That was a sucky transition. <laughs> That sucked real bad, but I got it together. Oof. Man, that was hard work. Okay, guys, so this is what I was doing yesterday with y'all. We was working on this. So let me just turn it. So I can see that. So you can see the whole thing a little better. So we was doing this. We're working on that, so we're gonna show you a couple of things that we're working on. And it's work on. Today's gonna be easy breezy after that long winded way to get this all set up. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna have fun with this way right now. And so I could figure out, you know, and I do this setup beforehand and it still messes up, but whatever. We rocking and rolling out. Okay, guys, so I was doing this one. This is on wood. This has got a little bit of texture. Um, this is one of my girl's pieces, and I thought about just having a dope mixtape version some good music, which we'll play right now. Put some music on. So how is everybody today doing a Sorry, guys, I got an important, let me tell you what's going on real fast. Okay, guys, sorry we got quiet here, but just check this out. I got an email, right? I'm going to share this with y'all. This is some crazy shit right there. We're going to get real on this one. <laughs> because, okay, a couple of days ago, I got an email, right? From, and I usually get emails like this from people. So the email started uh, saying that, uh, he, uh, he loved my art and everything. He loves my art and he would like to purchase my art. Fine and everything. So he tells me in this email that he wants to purchase some art for his wife because the wife is coming up, but he don't have no access to none of his credit cards or information. His credit card, his banking information because his wife has it. Check this out. His credit card information because his wife has it. So the only way he has to pay is with a check. Mind you, that was my first red alert because all of a sudden you can't get access. What man can't get access to his money? I don't care if his wife is not carrying it, it's holding all the money. You still have some type of way to get access to your loot. But that's the you know, I say a thing. I said, okay, I'll rock with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to deny anybody on how they funds come in, as long as it's legit. So I go in and uh, what we going to So I go in, I email them, and I told them, okay. I will send you an invoice, send me all your information, you know, and we go from there. So he was like, cool. He was like, what art you have? I sent him pictures of my art and all that, which I said never have done. That was on some. See, that was the read right there. I never usually send people pictures of my coming on my website, but I was in a great mood. <laughs> and I was like, two squares in a bucket, bug it. You know what I'm saying? They can still get it on site if they really want. They was gonna copy, they're gonna copy, they're gonna print, they're gonna print. So it doesn't make a difference. They just gotta clear a copy of my stuff, but that's okay. No print, no frame, because I can still create. You're not creating my art. You know what I'm saying? You can never recreate like my art like I can, so I'm not worried about that. So don't worry about copies. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it help me blow me up. Who knows? But they're there ahead. So while we 
while um going back and forth, like this is like 22, I, I can count, it's 27 emails going back and forth with this now. Now he tells me that he was like, okay, I want to buy this particular artwork. Now the particular artwork that I have, I'm gonna tell y'all is it's $2,800. It's one of my private collections. It's $2,800, okay. Um, I put it on my website because since you asked for it and I told him the price and everything, so now it's open out there and open. So I put it on my website, my set of five down, add it on. So I'm like, you know, I'm off, I'm legit with my prices and everything, you know. So he eased my way back. He hits me with the, okay, um, like I said, I can't give you credit for my like a pay with check. I don't take checks at all. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna lock this time. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you have it. It's $2,800. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you try it. We'll see. So he said he has a business company check. Perfect. I don't mind playing a business like I don't take personal checks. So we rocking and rolling. We're going back and forth. He picked up the art. So I said, okay, send me your company information. I asked him from day one of the conversation from the first email, more 27 emails I've been asking for this man business account. He still haven't sent it. So now he hits me. I've been asking for this business account, this transaction. Oh no, this guy, the, the catch 22 guy, the catch 22, he asked me to do is that he has a broker here in the States or wherever he's at in the city. I think he's in the city, whatever the case is, but he's in the city. Um, he's in the States, rather. And he said his people's, this is the catch 22. He said he wants to give me extra money on top of the $2,800 to give to his broker that's going to contact me and to ship it out to him. Okay, check this out. He's going to give me extra money to give to another person to ship it out to him. That's how he does his work for his business. Okay, I giggle, I laugh. I'm going to rock with you on this one. All right, I said, okay, no problem. Because I want to see where this rabbit hole where it leads to, because I know it's full of shit now. And I, my, my spider sense is saying he's full of shit. It's some corrupt shit. It's that, you know, scheme and email scheme shit. But I want to see. What the fucking check look like? I want to see the information come. So I report it behind. But so this is where we at right now. So that's in the whole catch twenty two. So he hit me right now and he's saying, so I hit him again one more time. And I thought you do do again one more time and said, uh, I'm nothing's going into my bank account until you send me the business information. Right? He hit me was like, why do you need my business information? before you sell the artwork to me. Huh? Who does that? Who said? Who? <laughs> he said, I don't think you actually want to buy from you because uh, I'm asking for your business information. Then don't buy from me, boo-boo. You don't have to buy from me. So that's just kind of funny. So I see the bull crap where he's at. So I'm hitting this man back. First of all, I played the games. I played this email game with you, but I just wanted to go down that rabbit hole because I was having fun. But I know he's not legit. And for a company not to refuse to give you information or any person to find art from you, they refuse to give you any type of information. Either they money laundering <laughs> or they're getting your ass and getting your internet and getting your bank information. So don't be boo boo the fool. Investigate. I just played along with this man fool because I knew he was full of shit. And I wanted to see how far he go. And I wanted to see if he really actually sent me a check. If you do send me a check, I'm going to check it out and do some investigation on it and see where the bank account is coming from and all that information. Thank God for internet because you could be your own private investigator. And that's what I do because you've got to remember who you're selling your art to, guys. There's a lot of money laundering in art, especially high end art, especially when your art goes over a couple of thousand people feel like take advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay as long as you're getting your cut and you ain't getting arrested for me. <laughs> Shit. So, I'm going back and this guy named my email me. Let me tell you the email. His name is James Mill, M-I-L-L, -L, James Mill. And his email address, let me tell you his email address. His email address is jamesmill43433 at gmail.com. Oh yeah, I'll give out the information. I don't play that name. So James Mill. So if you ever get an email artist out there from James Mill, and they probably change their names up and down the court. But if you get any type of number names with a numbers behind it and a Gmail account, he's suspect of it all the time. So, so now he wrote me. Uh, so now he hit me with that bullshit. So I'm just gonna end this conversation. Continue. We all have some more fun. 
and paint here. So, and just write him back uh, what I just told y'all. Like, I'm good. You don't have to buy from me. <laughs> so, let's continue, guys. Okay, we gonna find some music by Texas boy back some funny shit because I, I got a small mouth, guys. So I'm gonna be nice to him. I'm gonna be nice to this infamous trying to get my money or trying to do some crazy stuff from my account. So I'm just gonna put something nice. I'm good. You don't have to purchase from me. Stay blessed and happy. Okay. All right, guys, let's get into back to the music. Sorry, I had to send that email off to this infamous James uh, Mills. Yeah, I don't know why I'm trying, going back and forth with him, but it's just fun. You know, I like to cast these type of folks. One of these days, hopefully the government will crack down on these people, but unfortunately, they're not. You got to do your own investigation. So let's get back into the art. Okay, guys, so... Now that I sent my little crazy ass email, I would say what's on here, but it's a beautiful Sunday, so I'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> Let's put some music on. Like I was saying, we're gonna continue this. Uh, I've been doing this piece with the texture and everything. This came out kind of cool, but we don't play with that, but we also want to play with some new stuff. So let me show you what I got here. Also, I'm going to complete this shirt right here that I started. Okay, so we also want to complete this shirt I started too. So we started that yesterday. This is going to be done in a couple of minutes. This is almost done, guys. This is almost done. We just got to figure out what we're going to put here inside the little tape here. But all this is, this is almost done. So that's the piece going to be done. And I want to show you another piece that I was working on yesterday. So I'll let you see this real fast. So that is a, yeah, hold on, we need to go this way, guys. I forgot my camera set up. See how my camera set up, see? <laughs> okay, so this is champagne, champagne. We got the bird edition on it. So we're gonna finish that up too, today. And I want to show you how I'm going to be taping out. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to go into my other, you know, I have this long ass hallway to get to my other rooms. It's sometimes big here. Okay, so what we're doing today also, we're going to be YouTube painting on this right here. This is a bike helmet. Uh, one of the hat staff sent me their beautiful. 
helmet here and we're starting today. Um, I'm going to be sanding this down, but first before you do everything, I just want to show you how you go about completely uh, taping up a helmet, sanding it down. So I'm going to show you all the steps that I go through. So let's start with this because we are going to start with the helmet first today because I want to get this, this started with this. So and I want to show you what I do and how I do it. So what we're going to do today is tape this up. So I usually use painter's tape, but since this is um, the bike hat is really tape, I'm not going to hold on this because of the texture on here. Because we've got to sand this down. Um, so what I'm going to do is here is just make sure we put all this stuff inside. So what first thing we got to do is protect the inside. It's a beautiful inside, and I don't want to take all that stuff off. We don't leave all that stuff. It's all attached. I don't usually take all that stuff off when I get brand new items from people. I just usually keep all the tags and stuff like that. People, somebody likes the tags. You know what I'm saying? What we're gonna do is we're gonna tape up in here. Make sure this is covered. So what we're gonna do, since it's like this, what I usually do is take a piece of plastic. So this is what we're gonna. I'm gonna show you what I do. So first thing you have to do is to tape up when you're doing custom items like this. So I first thing I do is to tape off. So let's tape off everything and get everything done. So we're gonna tape off. I usually just tape uh, plastic with this guys. Um, regular mill plastic you can get from any Lowe's or I'm not cents for. You gotta be special plastic. Just gotta be plastic. And let me find some scissors here. Gotta have some right here. So hold on, guys. My scissors. I can never find things when I need it. Okay. All right. So we're gonna cut a little bit of this down here. I just need a little sheet. Don't need much. So I'm just gonna cut this down. I can't see me cutting it, but I am cutting right here. I am working and stuff, so here we go. I'm going to sit this way. Since everything's positioned this way. Okay, so we're going to put that back in the box. Okay, so, and that's right there. Just took a little bit of piece of plastic from uh, so I can see this. All right, so. All right, there's some drop cloth paint. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. You're going to take, always make sure your area is clean. Because when you're doing white products, you want to make sure nothing gets on it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to open up this up just a little bit. And just stick this down in there. This is how I do it. So I'm just gonna tape all this up. And I'm using masking tape because it's a little stronger. Um, I wouldn't leave masking tape on for a long period of time on products. I'm more than a week. Because the tape underneath here sometimes the residue sticks to the surface. So what I'm gonna do here first is just to make sure this is a clean surface because I want to make sure that's a clean cut when I paint on it. So I'm going to line it up. Let me show you. And what I'm doing is lining it up. Let's just see. I'm lining up the where the tape is. Just line all of that up there. Really good. And you're gonna get all up in there. See? So you gotta line all that up, guys. Line this line everything up really good. Easy, clean, tight forming. All right. Now, there's a lot of prepping we have to do for this particular helmet. But I wanna show you everything I do. 
All right, so we got that part. See how the tape is still underneath there? Which is perfect. Okay, so what I want to do is do that all the way around the helmet. Don't have it. So I'm just going to tape it. I'm not going to tape too much. I just want to make sure it just gets around the helmet now. When I'm painting, I'm going to have another border right here when I'm painting, actually painting. So we need to take off all this tape, pull that off. And I keep all this stuff. I keep all the taping and packaging because I put it right back on. I try to remember where I got it off at and I try to put it right back on the helmet. Maybe not these little plastic things because this might come off on the, it might stick to the actual artwork. Maybe not these little plastic things, these might stick next to the artwork. So I probably throw those right definitely. But I try to keep most of the packaging. So we're just going to push that down in there. Just show you how I'm doing this. Keep everything safety. That's the first thing you got. You got to make sure everything is safe. So do this side. Sorry, guys, how, how I'm positioning this. So we just want to tape all that in. Tape all that down there. Can you see me? Okay, so we got all this. And what I'm going to do is double take this right here. Ah, nice. I'm just going to take it right along the edges there. And it don't have to be neat because remember, we're going to come back again with all that. This is just a major protection to make sure we don't get new paint in the inside. Yes. Now see how the helmet is going here, this piece, you can see this, the helmet goes like there. So we're going to take this, I, like I said, I don't take off none of the packaging. So I'm going to fold this neatly. Because when you stuff it in, I, I particularly like stuff, I want to make sure all the pieces are in so I know that all the paint and everything is covered. So I don't really stuff it in too much like this. Kind of fold it and make it neat. See? I want it as neat as possible. So I can get all the edges. See, like this, I gotta cover up. They have the own little logo here. So little stuff like this, I'm gonna cover up with some painter's tape. Now the painter's tape I'm gonna use right here on this. I don't wanna use the, oh, sorry guys. I was told you, my camera's kind of set up crazy right now. I'm going to use a little painting tape on this. I don't want to use the masking tape because I don't want the masking tape to stick hard on there. I doubt it will stick hard on there. Maybe I will use the masking tape because I really want this really covered because this is really fine plastic. So I don't know if the, the, um, the painting tape is going to hold really well after painting on it for a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I might just circle that, cover that up with the Tape. This is what we're going to do. So I'm going to cover up all this with math tape, even the, so you got to cover all this up, cover up the insides, plastic it up, and then we're going to sand it down. We have to sand all this down. But before you sand it down, you're going to cover up. Now, this is the catch right here. I really like the way this white is, but we got to, this is where I think I'll put a nice feature right here. This part right here in the middle, guys, I've designed it. Um, where I want this part right here is his LA part. So he wants to make a tribute to his favorite hometown city, the uh, city of LA, and that's dope. So what I'm going to put is the city of LA right in the middle of this right here. And it's not going to be like the city of LA. It's going to be the palm trees. And I want to get that look, that LA feel right up in here. So I'm going to cover all this up. I'm going to sand all this down. I'm going to Cover this up too. Let's do that right now while I'm talking to you. 
see a lot. So y'all see all this. And then we're gonna tape all this up. This is a lot of tape. I thought I could do all this taping right here. I didn't realize how detailed tape, but I got a lot to do, but I gotta tape. What you gotta do is tape all these little holes up, guys. Yes, you have to tape up all these little holes because you do not want no paint going on the gray part of that. So I didn't realize that how many numbers was on, I mean, how many holes was here. So what I'm gonna do is tape this up on my off time when I'm off the channel. Because it's just gonna be a little minute to tape all this up. But as you see, the process is going. So you wanna move this down because you don't wanna tape on that. So I will cut that off. Yeah, I get real detail with the tape. So I slung it all the taping. We're gonna come back to that and then we'll start sanding it. And then we'll start the process. So this whole week, I think, thank you for joining. Um, but the whole week, we're gonna be working on the helmet. So I wanted to start the process off today to the beginning start of appearing the helmet. And this is gonna be dope because wait till y'all see what I got in store for it. I finished the drawings, I finished all the sketches, and it's gonna come out so dope. It's gonna be really hard because of the clean lines and stuff, so I, I'm really happy playing with this right here. This is gonna look gorgeous. I already got the colors. It's, I got certain colors. I had to get particular colors because acrylic, to me, will peel off. So I had to get this type of motor paint I use for helmets. So it won't peel off, you know, because when it gets the heat and the wind and the traction and all that and dirt, it starts peeling off after a while, guys. So I use, so I don't use acrylic paint. For this. Um, this, to me, it doesn't hold well on particular helmets. Um, so I don't use, I usually use airbrush paint or motor paint, stuff like that. So that's why I didn't, not painting to this today. We are just prepping this today because I'm waiting for the motor paint comes in. I think it'll be here by Monday or Tuesday. But I'll show you the brand and, and everything that I use to paint this. But yeah, I'm waiting for the paint to come in for this one. Um, that's why I'm not starting today. But I do have a lot of detailing on this as far as taping. And I wanted to show you how I'm taping this. So this is real serious. So if you ever paint a helmet, Make sure that first, it takes at least a couple, at least an hour to three hours to take everything on this one. This is going to take me a couple of hours because I, I have to get really into the side here with the Zacto knife with the tape and cover all this up. So that right there is the process is going to take me at least a couple of hours. And I say a couple of hours because I'm really detailed now and I want to make sure nothing leaks inside of there. So that's what we're going to make. That's what I'm going to be doing. So once I get this all finished taped up, I will bring this back and we'll start the sanding. And I'll probably have it pre sand already and just have a little bit left to show you how I did. But yeah, I'm not going to sit up here and sand this whole thing because I got to use my sander. And that's got to be outside. And I have to be at night because Vegas right now is going through a heat stroke. Today is 118 degrees and it's only 8 o'clock in the morning and it's already 90 degrees. So that's how our day is going today. So I got to figure out when I can say this. It's got to be late night, probably like 2, 3 in the morning. <laughs> when the cool breeze come in. But this is what we're going to be working on. So I'm going to put this to the side. Because I just want to show you what we're going to be working on. This week, so tune into that. I'm going to be coming on spontaneously, yes, this week. Late nights on this one. This is going to be a late night. Uh, work on so and I should be done with this within a week Yeah, hopefully I'll be done with this in the week depends on how the polish I mean the paint adheres to this and how long it takes to dry So that's going to be a question shouldn't be should be okay Should just take me a couple of days to do this, but we'll see You know, I want this to come out so clean and so different. I always do like, like I said I've done motorcycle helmets. I've never done a bike helmet and I'm so thrilled to do this one. So, Pablo, this is gonna come out so dope, so dope. And you can see the process. Okay, so we're gonna, like you see, it's all taped up now, I got the inside done. So I just gotta do, I would do this here, but it's gonna be boring and really slow process to tape all that in there, guys, so. Okay, so let's move on to some more. So we're gonna put this to the side. Like I said, tune in this week 
because uh, for the next couple of days, I'm going to be painting this on hands. Okay, let's take the helmet away and put it back in the safety box. So, hold on, guys. Let me give me a second. I got to run down the hallway with right Yeah, I'll be getting exercise on this game. Live streaming. <laughs> I'll be getting some exercise to running down this damn hallway. But well, thanks, guys, for, if you just came on. I appreciate y'all. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just get into, you might as well finish the shirt. This shirt is one of the giveaways. I'm not selling the shirt. This is part of the giveaway. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to move all this stuff out of my way because I'm facing this way. Okay. So, like I said, I'm giving this a clean. Make sure my surface is clean. This is a white shirt. So, give me a second. I want to make sure no dirt get on with this shirt here. So, like okay. okay, here we go. Now we do. Okay, so what are we doing here on this particular shirt? We are going to finish this shirt out. This shirt is part of the giveaways that I will be giving away for the month of Juneteenth when you shop on Miss Create Merch. So when you purchase something from Miss Create Merch, you will get a black girl magic box. Yes. So you might get a t shirt. You might get a sticker. Let me show you my stickers. Okay, guys. Right, so these are, you might get a t shirt, which I'm not doing here. These t shirts are, yes, this one right here is a medium. So I don't know what size I'm going to be shipping out, but this one right here is a medium. So it may not fit you, maybe you to somebody else that's a gift. But uh, what we're going to do today is finish this bird out, pack that up, finish the wood out, and everything. So but I want to show you what else we did in the my little giveaway present. So here are my pins. These are my made woman pins. These are my made woman pins. For those beautiful women out there who are a champion of what they do. They are made when you keep your flow and your financials going, you keep your happiness going. You're a made woman, baby. That's right. It's a different type of made woman. <laughs> Forget made men. You made women. Okay, so in that one, and then I have the sticker. So you get the sticker of the made woman. And so, but all jean jackets, to let y'all know, all my jackets come with a pin automatic. Automatic. So I just wanted to tell you that. That's all all my jackets. Regardless, you're a man or a female. You don't get a pen. But that's my maid woman. And uh that's it. So you'll get one of those too. I got some new stickers and pens coming in. Um, those are special. Those are really coming in. I want to wait till it gets in before I show you what it's going to be. And I want to show you some of the vinyl toys that I was talking about. This one I painted. Um, these are some of the vinyl toys that I already painted, but I want to finish them up. This one is my uh, great ape. I, I finished the color. I painted him purple. And you see with the black hands and the black feet. I thought it was so cute. But yeah, I'm going to see this little buddy. <laughs> little buddy is so cute. Um, so yeah, these are the toys that I paint and I sell on my site. I do sell a lot of uh, vintage toys. Well, vintage to me because I'm, I'm a vinyl toy collector. Um, let me show you some of my vinyl toys before we get into the yeah. um, I just want to show y'all one of the toys before we start painting and getting creative. I wanted to show you a couple of things. These are the toys I collect. 
Now those are the toys. These toys right here is actually the toys I paint and I paint on. These toys right here, this is a Jeremy Rogers authentic signed. He signed it twice for me. He has it underneath his foot that he automatically comes with a toy, but he also signed it right here on the night. So this is a rare, uh, nice collectible right here. Um, this is, I'm not paying on this. This is one of his toys. This is one in my collections. Yes. So this is my, uh, I love this piece by Jamie. Well, his name is Jermaine Rogers, guys. He does a lot of graphic arts for like food fighters and, and he does a lot of album covers and everything from back in the days. But he's one uh, uh, black guy. That's why I like him. There's not too many black guys in the vinyl toy world. You know, so I'm gonna stand him up right here. Let's just see. Kind of weird how I'm setting him up guys. I want you to see how tall he stand. I want you to see, see how he looks. Okay, the another artist that I also collect, I'm just gonna show you a few. This one is a Ron English. This is Ron English piece. If I know who Ron English is, he is known for a lot of his graphics. Um, this one right here is a dope piece by Ron English, Propaganda. I fell in love with the little mushrooms. So that's the Ron English piece I have there. I also have a couple of other ones there. I got a cards too. Let me show you my cards. Now my cards is not big ass. Okay, I can't get the cards out because I don't think it's gonna fit in this around my hand. It's too much to move. But I wanna show you some of the stuff that is a collectible for me. I'm gonna show you a couple of things. See, I have a couple of artists. I also have my boy from um, Monkey King. See, I have a lot of crazy vinyl toys I collect from a lot of art artists. This is from Mad One. I like Mad One, he's an old street graffiti artist. And this is one of his toys. It's a more of the set, but this is one of them, which I thought was really cute. Let me show you a couple of other ones. Oh, oh, you gotta hear me back here. Oh, I dropped them. <laughs> if you hear me screaming back here because I dropped my toy. It's crazy that I get all excited about these toys. And I have a cute one. This is a titty one. <laughs> this is a titty one from Buff Monster. This is so crazy. This is a bunch of, of straight up and down the guys. It's a bunch of titties. This is from Buff Monster. And I thought this was just, since I got big tatas, I just thought this was just too damn cute. <laughs> but this is, yes, that's, uh, that's from Buff Monster. So. These are some of the toys that I, co I collect and I, and I paint. So when I tell you that I'm painting on vinyl toys, I know what I'm talking about. Now this piece right here, so that reason I'm showing you these, because I'm when I, like I said, when I'm painting on vinyl toys, you all see that I had on here today, vinyl toys, these are the vinyl toys that I'll be painting. And, uh, you don't leave from my head because I'm going to finish him up. And this is one. I'm just going to show you the one that I actually did. This one is from my Air Force. Um, this guy, he made, actually made this piece. Um, I, sold a, I sold two of them. Um, but these are, this is a uh, can. Look at that guy. Okay. So what he did, he made the little bottom part. And then you put this part on top. And then you put this part on top, and there's a can rocket. Ain't that cute? It looks like that, guys. And I drew the Chinese flower. I was copying the Arizona. These were, I was gonna make it an Arizona can. Ain't that cute? So I'm gonna finish this up. So I need to finish this up because I'm making it into an Arizona. Yeah, I want to make it to the Arizona can. So I can. So I'll be working on that one too. I'm gonna express that one up. That's what I have to freshen up as well. And then this collection, 
This is another collection. I had a couple of collections of these and I was selling them and I sold out and I just kept the last collection because it came out so dope. But these are my dudes. These are my dudes. This is a collection I made of hip hop artists. I'm going to show y'all. It's five of them. And I've been selling these off the chain. When I had my store, um, I sold a lot of these. And they're gone now. And I was going to sell this in this collection, but I fell in love with them. I was like, no, I'm going to keep this in my own personal collection. Um, but I painted these, hand painted these and everything. I didn't do the model. That's this is, this is another one for hoodies. Um, and I just take the actual toy and paint on top of it. You get blanks like blank colors, of course, all white, or all, all black sometimes. Um, these was all white, actually, and I just spray painted them, and painted them. They get a little dusty, so I'm gonna have to repaint them and stuff, but I want you to see this. Okay, the first one is this dude right here. Let's take him out the way. So this first one, I'm gonna just show him a little better. This is my Wu-Tang dude, and he's cute. So I put Wu, similar Wu-Tang on him, okay. Then we got a big man here, his little head. And I just see this. I just love the way he looks. And he's cute. And I, got, I put the one DMC on it. It's my icon, my little flowers, the stuff I use. I thought he was cute. I don't think I did any on the back of it. But that was, I just did on the arms. And then we got my little NWA. It's my little hood there. You see him? His hat. His hat and everything is so cute. Hat to the back. That's his backpack. And that's the NWA. And we can't forget the Rock. We got the Rockefeller. I thought this was so appropriate with them lips, you know, Jay-Z with the lips. So I thought <laughs> I thought he was so cool to be part of the Rock, you know what I'm saying? So I threw the Rockefeller logo on there. And then last but not least, out of all the bad boys, we had to put bad boys, come out and play. All right, so yeah, so these are the ones, it's a whole set, I call it my hip hop stance because I put every little hip hop crew in there. So that's all of those. All right, so I just let y'all see that real fast. And I want to give a shout out. Hi, Travis. Hi, Gabrielle. Hi. Yeah, these are uh, these are all my clients. They call hoodsies. They call hoodsies. And um, I order a lot of vinyl toys, blanks, blank vinyl toys, because I love painting on vinyl toys. I got into vinyl toys probably back in 2014. My boy, Derek. Uh, he has uh hi peace and respect sweetheart hello informational man what's going on thank you for joining my world um so yeah so these toys vinyl toys i've been collecting over the years since like i said since 2014. so those are the ones i collected i also got one by my boy Lebert. he does these type of vinyl toys too i collect him too. This is my matter of fact. This is the monkey. This is a Leo in Chinese form. So this is his little work here. Let's try to check it out. That better. He's one of the dopest vinyl toys creators and artists too. I love his artwork. So yeah. I have a bunch of uh my cars. I don't know if I don't know who cars is then y'all been living on me for I guess I need to Rock in the art world. But I have a lot of cars. I just purchased a lot of car stuff. But this is my car's book. I'm into a lot of speed up drive. Like this book right here. This is my car's book. Really dope book. All his stuff. And all his oh, here's mine. Yo, I found the stencil back here. 
Oh, wow. I ain't seen this stencil in years. Oh, wow. Look at this stuff. Oh, I messed up my book, though. Damn it. Well, that's messed up. <laughs> okay, guys. Hint to self. Never put your art stencils. The book is all so. Never put your art stencils inside of. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I managed to even do that. But uh, okay. I don't believe I did that. It's a Polaroid picture. I'm gonna shake it. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, it's the actual that Polaroid camera. Hey, I don't remember when I'm doing that. Okay, but. I wanted to show you all that. And here's another one. Remember the hoodies I was telling you about? See, there's another hoodie that I had one left that I'm doing as a uh, Arizona can also. So this is one. So we got the 99 cents in the back of him. Yeah, I have a whole little collection of these Arizona can um, figures with the, that type of look. So, yeah. So when I say vinyl toys, y'all know what I'm talking about. I wanted to get that out there for ones that didn't know, now you know. And I also collect, guys, I collect. Like my vinyl toy collection is, is maybe small, but it's dope. And I also got, I also do pops. Yeah, but these are the only two I have. <laughs> And it's a biggie, Notorious B.I.G. That was dope. Uh, my friend of mine, uh, Snip, picked it up for me. I don't know where he got it from, but he know I collect biggie dolls. So uh, I got, got these two. So I want to show you that. I don't know why I was saw that, but I just want to show you that. All right, guys, so we got into the whole process of, of, of my vinyl toy. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So today we might be just uh, finished painting him up, my boy. We're finished doing that, which is totally cute. But let's jump back into the t-shirt and finish that up. So we'll keep jumping around. Put that stencil over there to the side. And I'm just going to put the dog back. <laughs> yes, he got. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to finish this t shirt just real fast because this is really, really fast. So let's just tag this out real fast. I put this in the collection. You know how we do. I have to put something in the back here. Hold on. I need some music, man. Hold on. I need some music playing in the background. I got Netflix on mute. Like I said, I was watching uh, this thing called Sweet Tooth on Netflix. Kind of cool. Anybody heard of it? It's a cute little show. Keep you occupied while you, uh, you know, while you're creating. All right, guys. So this is the where I'm at. All right, so what we're going to do here today is just do a real quick tag on her. Just real fast. This is, you know, champagne campaign. And we ain't going to do but much but tag her out. Now, to figure out what colors we're going to use for tagging, uh, I don't know. So I want to go in and check out the yellow. We're going to see how this yellow hits and flows with it. You know what I'm saying? Hit the upper fast. I'm just looking for my phone. Where I flow that to? All right. So what we're gonna do is just tag this out. We're gonna test it out. Like I always say, test out your pen. This is a little thick one, so I really hope this comes out really light. So we're gonna just. Ooh, I love it. 
put a bit of love. Now we can always put the love up there for a flower. Now I gotta get my roses. Okay, you can't really see it, but you can see it, but you can't really see it, and I like that. Put the crown. We are all queens and kings out there. Claim your throne. Put that right there. What you think? All right, so we're going to, we need some more color to pop on this. So we're going to do, let's try, that was some yellow. Let's do the red now, see how that hits. Now, let me just tell you what's going on with this particular bird too. I used, on this bird, I used uh, molding, not molding, uh, what's the name of the damn thing? <laughs> marbling, marbling medium. Yes, I use marbling medium on it. So it's like a little plastic feel to it. And it's a little plasticky, so which I really like about it. Um, so it's easy to flow with the pin on it. Is tagging, so let's do this right here. Let's see how this come out. Put the red. Okay. Okay, I can take that. I, I appreciate that little flower right there. I appreciate lots. So what we're gonna do is go in with the red is eh. It doesn't really, I guess it hits me, but it's not hitting me like I thought it was. So let's see, we're gonna put lab right here. We're gonna tag out lab. Let's see how it looks. All right, let's hit that over again with a darker color. I think the darker color will really pop on top. Uh, what colors do we do that? Maybe the green, but I'm don't like the green of the that color green. So let's try another. Let's try pink. Just because it's just a nice throwaway to everything. You know, let's try this pink. So we're gonna do. I'm just gonna hit it with the pink. Which I think I'm falling in love with. And we're just going to tag right over everything else that's on there. Just tag it and just going to hit it right over it. There we go. We're just going to hit it with a smile. Nice. Unless we just hit it once again. Just keeping it really clean and consistent with the tag. Nice. And then we're just going to put right up in here a little heart, little eyes. I'm going to fix it really better. Nice. Okay. Now the black. Let me make sure I got all the little tags I want in it. Put a little flower down there. That look cool. A little crown right here. Just hitting it with the crown test, just tagging it out on top. I'm gonna hit another little crown right here on top of the lab. Just going on top. Just tagging out the whole thing. Can y'all see that? I just tagged out the whole thing. So now I'm gonna hit that. Now that we tagged everything out. I'm gonna go back in and get my blacks, small version, the small thin uh so we got that fine thin piece here. So we're gonna just go. I am gonna color his eyes in just a little bit. There we go. Like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here also 
is I'm gonna take the stencil, my top layer stencil, my details, and just go over it real fast. Just knock it out. So my old beat up, please don't laugh at my stencil. It's been around for years and I've been taping and cutting the stencil for a couple of years now. So it's a little beat up. All my little stencils will beat up, but they last a long time. So I'm happy with them. Okay, so we're gonna put this back in here. Like I always do. And then we're just gonna hit it real softly just to see the lines. Now, these lines that I'm making, I'm gonna probably go over it again. I don't know how this is gonna come out, or it's gonna look, because I actually never did inside of it like this with an actual pen. Usually, I usually just paint. But for some reason, I wanted to see how this is gonna look. Uh, let's see. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You could have left it out, but that's okay. Now let's play. So what I'm going to do here is just play with it. Since this was the hairs, and this is really light. And it is my New York Street Pigeon. So I'm just gonna go in with details and just have fun with it. And then I'm going to get some paint and we're gonna paint over it. I am gonna highlight it. So we're gonna play make this really sketchy. Sketchy meaning I'm just gonna go out of the lines and just create. And just create. You can't see me too much in detailing this. I've got my hand all over it. And just play with it. It don't have to be, it's not going to be neat and clean. I don't want it to be neat and clean. This one is going to be a little more sketchy. This one is not going to be that neat and clean look. So I'm just having fun, just randomly just sketching it out. Just putting lines in wherever I want it. It's nothing to check it out. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, I totally messed that up. Yeah, right. Okay, this is looking kind of cool. I should look at that real fast. All right. So now that I got that out of the way, I am going to go back in and finish paint on top. I know I put some little feathers right here. Put this little creature. I'm just going to spin it out. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that same. Take that same stencil because I want this to be a little more broader. With me, I'm gonna go back in. And I am going to go in and then just hit it again. Some more black, straight black on black. 
Finally, a little small bush that will work with. Hold on, guys. I'm looking for a small bush. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with my fabric paint. I'm going to get a little fabric paint. Hold on, guys. I'm get a little fabric paint. Got a little black fabric paint here. It's already mixed. What we're going to do is just take this little bit of fabric paint. Let's see that. Just a little bit of fabric paint. And then we're going to come back in. Since the black didn't look so hot. Now, I put a lot of black on this. So this is going to really probably... Ooh, that was a lot. I didn't mean to be that much. <laughs> so I don't know if I messed this up or not, but I don't think so. I never messed up on shit. I just make it look a little bit. And there was never really a, it's just a miscreate. That's why I get my name, miscreate. I never really mess up, I just enhance. Look at that. Mm. So now, what we're going to do is take some of that orange. I do got some of that orange left, but it's not mixed with the medium. And I really don't want it to because that medium is already up there. Why it's still wet? You want to cast this why it's still wet. I just need, ooh, didn't need that much. Why it's still wet, I'm just going to take a little bit and just go inside. Yeah, to make it really look like that. No, and then we're gonna retag it on top. Let's go in. Just blend the colors in with that orange, and I like the way that orange pop on the block. Lots of like wanted, but I want to make these just a little more. So, take orange and just go in with it just a little much. I don't want too much, but I don't want to make it blurry. So, I'm going to let that dry again because I want to hit it again with some more. I want to hit it again just one more time with some more icons to make it cool. Some white. I need some white on that and then. It would be good. So let's that dry. Oh, you know what? I have my little dry in here. I'll probably do that faster. Now we're going to let that dry. <laughs> yeah, we're going to let this dry. Because if, with the dry, even though it dries and everything, I really need that to dry. There's a couple of layers in that black one. Let me just put it with that. Take this a little faster. Yeah, I'm going to hit it to dry real fast. Hold on, guys. Let's hit that little dry real fast. Nice. Nice. Okay. Just warming it up. Warming it up. See how it feels. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put this to the side. And let this dry for just a moment. Okay, guys. Another thing I was going to play around today with is sneakers. This is the kicks. I have a bunch of sneakers um, that I buy by the case. So I, like I said, I buy jean jackets, t-shirts, and I kind of go into our stores around the uh, countries that I go to, countries I go to, uh, cities that I go to. I haven't been out the country yet. Well, I've been out the country, but that's not artistic. But, Yes, I have. Okay, we just gonna crap all that. <laughs> oh my goodness, Nellis, how you been today? How did you still didn't answer me? How did your um, drum session go yesterday? Um, I'd like to know. Okay, let's get back onto the sneakers and the shoes and everything. Okay, so we got, and I want to finish this up. Let's see what The reason I'm pulling these out right now is because I want to finish these up. 
This is one that I did also, that we did here on hats. Here's another shirt, another bird that I, we did. I have that we tagged out and everything. But this one, I want to put a saying right here. I think I might put miscreate right there and just see how it looks. I wanted to do this with the other shirt. I want to check it out on this one. So hold on. I'm going to switch boards and hangers because I don't need the white to be touching each other with the ink on it. Hold on. What we're going to do is we're going to try some spray paint on this before we get to the sneakers. And what I'm doing now is switching out my boards. Hold on. I'm making sure this paint don't stick to the shirt. Okay, I'm putting my uh, this t-shirt here on the dry. In my, on my dry board. Damn, you, you drunk for eight hours. Damn, dude. I know your hands was hurting. <laughs> I know your hands was hurting. That's going to be a nice little uh, something to watch. Oh, yeah, I love the way that champagne campaign look. Yeah, I, I know that was a long little process right there. That's dope, though. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do right now, we're going to do a little quick tester. And what I mean by tester, with this type of shirt that I have, you still recovering? I bet you are. I know your hands is throbbing right now. Dude, how did you just... And you could have played longer? Oh, that's the love right there. Now you was feeling good. You was feeling good. You was feeling good. And you could sit there and just do that, just do something that you love and you're not realizing the time. Yeah, you was in that, you was in that groove and that love. That's, that's dope. Okay, so this one right here, um, like I said, this one is a crazy tagged up bird one. I don't know if you can see it at the bottom there. Can you see him? So what I'm going to do is I just want to see something. These t-shirts and stuff that I'm making right now, um, these are giveaways. I'm just telling you now. So when you order with me on my brand new shop of board account, yeah, 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 yeah. Got to get excited. Got to get excited. Got to get I'm just acting silly, guys. <laughs> I'm just acting silly because it's early in the morning. It's 100 degree in Viva Las Vegas. And the reminiscence of good smelling odors roaming through my ear right now. So I am feeling blessed and happy. So join me in my happiness, please join me. And I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> okay. All right, so back to all. So what I'm gonna do here, like I said, this is a 100% cotton. It's really, really one of the soft, soft, soft cottons. And I wanna see how the spray paint reacts to this. So we're gonna do a spray paint. Yes, we're spray painting. I'll do heavy spray paint in here if I am indoors. But I do mild spray paint, you have y'all seen. So what I'm gonna put on here is just a, a quick miscreate because this is the fastest thing that I can process when it with the actual. So what we're gonna do is just put it like somewhere like this. I just wanna see how it comes out. So yeah, this is one of my cutouts. I told you guys, I got stencils for days. I cut them out on all types of paper. So if you've seen strings, cut out my stencils. And my stencils last for, as you see, for a long time. This stencil probably lasts a light. And this is on regular stock card. I take care of my stencils. This is probably two years old. As you see, it's finally coming apart. And that was an at symbol, so I don't use that part. So I'm going to be covering that part up. So we're going to hit it. With this can of paint that I have right here next to me, right next to me. 
and that's we're gonna hit it really lightly not hard you're not gonna spray it like you're spraying a, a, a piece of furniture or anything now this is the problem that i have i have need to go find my weights um weights meaning to hold all this stuff down so i'm just gonna put stuff around me going back to the ghetto rules I just put stuff around until i find my damn weights i'm gonna put down this way i will hold it down a little better what you do is just holding down your stems Hi, Gabrielle. How are you doing? Did you watch uh, Shabazz? She was doing last night, Big L. Okay, you just gonna hit up real nice and easy. Oh, that's so cool. I wish I could have been there, L. I was so busy. Trust me, I got you the next one. Okay, we just use the some spray paint. We use the black, black spray, just a little bit, not enough. We don't need to saturate everything. Now I have to go back and do the replay, L, and just chill, enjoy and listen to your music. Okay, guys, so we're going to unveil this real fast. See how it came out. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to let it dry. Oh, it's sticky, though. Oh, it's sticky. So we're going to have to let that dry. But I like the way that came out. Let's see if it did anything on it. When it comes off the board, though. let's look at it now. See how this looks, ladies. This is a dope shirt. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I like now. I like. I like a lot. I like it too. We gotta continue with the markings and everything on it. So we're gonna have to put some blue up in here, but I do like that. But we're gonna let it dry because it's, ooh, yeah, it's still a little sticky, sticky tacky. I was just testing this out, but I like the way that look. Okay, guys, so this is a side. I always spray paint on clothes, but I, this particular material I never spray paint on. So just to give you an FYI, this is a medium, and this is, I'm trying to make sure what is this definitely cotton. Hold on, guys. I just want to double check. That's the inside of it. So the inside do come through a little bit, but it's not that bad. Let me show you the inside of it. See? Yeah, the inside came in kind of thick, but I expected that because this is a, a butt. This is a, a, a thin shirt. So this is 100% cotton. I thought it would be rayon or something, but nope, this is 100% cotton, so you know how that is. I shrink just a little bit, but this is a medium, and look at the back. This is what I love about this shirt. It's so pretty. Let me show you the back of the shirt. See that crisscross? Look how it crisscross, ladies. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's not, I don't usually give out regular t-shirts. My t-shirts be a little special, a little extra something inside out or something like that, or this crosses. I love to have shirts like that. But this is a beautiful shirt. And that's how it looks a little bit like that. I know that style is so pretty. I always have, I, I love shirts that's unique like that. You know, so, so the tops that's so different. I love different tops. I love unique stuff. So that's really good. We're going to let this dry and then we're going to hit it up some more because I do want to go in with the miscreate and put that blue. See these blues that was popping out of the bird? I want to put that inside of there just to make sure this line up and everything like that. But I, I gotta wait a little couple of minutes because I feel it's sticky and then you don't want it to dry off to me. It's gonna be rough to, rough to uh, maneuver the pen. 
All right, so we got that down. You know how I am. I'm spontaneous, ladies and gents. I, I jump around everything. <laughs> I just jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. Okay, so we got those two down. So let's talk about those sneakers. I'm going to go get a pair of sneakers. I'm at uh, my little storage closet here. But we're going to go back to this piece right here. Oh, so well fast, but this one is really done. Let me clean her up. Let me just move this up a little bit. So we're going to clean her up. It's another giveaway that I want to entice y'all with. Enticement, enticement. I love enticement. <laughs> um, this piece right here is part of the Juneteenth giveaways that I'm going to be doing. Um, and I'm just finishing this up. Playing with it. I think I want to put some black up in there. I said I was going to do it because the black is looking like it's dominating. And when it does that, sometimes dominates the picture or look like it's. I like to add a little more structure to it. So we're going to put these little hairs up in here. These little flowers, my little icons. We're just going to stick them right up in here. Just to let it flow a little bit more. So we Yeah, so I'm just putting in some crazy little icons. Just tagging it up a little more on the tagging. Just giving it a little more crazy structure and stuff. I don't know. Just felt like it needed more, a little, a little more, I don't know, pizzazz, I don't know. Now that I keep looking at it, I keep going darker and darker and darker. <laughs> I'm like, should I take the whole damn thing out in the black? Because it looks kind of cool now. With the, with the red peeping out. I'm going crazy now with the black. I didn't mean to put this much in there, but kind of like it. Now, I do want to paint over this because I don't like the way that black looks right here. Remember, I was, I was going to fix all that. So we're going to fix that right now. Just tag a little more laughter. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit here. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is get that. Let me brush that. I'm try to brush. Oh, now I've got some brushes here. I'm gonna use a little bit of that orange that I had from earlier, and just jump right into it, right up in there. I know that's a lot bright, but that's okay. I'm going to blend right in really good. I'm just going to get all that up and then let that dry and then hit it with that. that red. Let me just hit it right on top. Let's see what it does over here. Oh, thank you. You like this one a lot? Oh. Yeah, what we're gonna put up in this uh, okay you got well, since you like this one a lot you know, what should i write up in here i gotta figure out the picture tape so that i put it like old school so i put 1991 um i'm missing this mixtape yesterday yeah i got a couple of mixtape ones i'm doing i'm going back to old mixtapes again i'm doing a whole uh i'm actually doing and this is that 
and I have a, I'm doing my NFTs and I got a bunch of uh, set tapes that I did in NFTs. It's kind of dope. Um, that's going to be coming out next week once I get all of my uh, straightness as far as my uh, Shopify, making sure all that runs correctly. But my girl Michelle helped me out yesterday. She's a beautiful soul. She was the one that realized that my shop wasn't even up, but it's up now. So that's a blessing there. Yeah, I like that girl. She's just a sweetheart. I appreciate her. I don't know what she's on today. But so Gabrielle, how you been? How's life treating your lovely widow? Get you up rock with me and not scared to text and type with us. <laughs> you gotta just be having conversations with just me and Elle. <laughs> That looks good, guys, huh? Let's put a oh shit. God, I'm missing my damn paint. Ah, uh, hold on, guys. I've never had all the paint spill out on me. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to push this paint back into the tube. It's too much came out. Darn it. I'm just gonna add a little more right there. Let that glow a little more. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to play the thing. Give it a little play. Give it a little play. There we go. Gotta give it a little. Let's give it a little. Nice, I like that now. Yeah, that's coming out. Okay. Put a little orange in her eyelash here. That's getting a little funky. Can you see that? Yeah, she got a little funky here. I like that. Yeah, her thought process is this, 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 this cassette tape here. So, which I haven't figured out quite yet how I'm going to do that. But what we are going to do is, okay, I need a thicker point here. And a bag of magic of my markers, and let's get in extra here real fast. What I want to do is just put a nice little, I put my boys a little crazy. Nice. Like the way this came down. Ooh, nice. Oh, no. Nice. Okay. I love the way that came out here. Perfect. All right. Now, she's kind of really kind of getting into the mood of things here. It looks like it's coming out really good. I think I need to put some more black right up in here though. But I like the way that look. Okay, now to start on the deck tag. Take that. No, not quite. Hold on. Let me finish get this eye together. Hold on guys. Let me finish this bit. That's a little better. Better, better. I like that way better. Yes, I like that way better. All right, we getting there with this one. It's a nice piece to give away, huh? Let's say that. Oh, Gabriel, I got a Cassie. 
I apologize for not catching anybody's broadcast. And, you know, I'd be up late, and I just need to jump on. I really do. And I apologize for not jumping on, guys, and watching your broadcast. I'd be in another zone, and I'd be caught up. So I apologize. But I, I do catch a couple, so it's not like I'm not trying. I do catch a couple. <laughs> I be trying to take, catch, you know, your L, yours, Gabrielle's. I be trying to catch Michelle's. You know, it's a lot more artists on here, and y'all come up all over the night, so when I pop on, I see something, I'm like, okay, cool, pop on, so I will catch y'all, trust and believe, the love is there, I'm going to pay it for it, and I'm going to come on and have fun with y'all, so, because y'all definitely support me, and I definitely want to support that, so please, I will be following y'all, I'm always following y'all, but I will definitely jump on, once this, all this, my, this, these two things, I just got to get done, guys, these, these two things, I already got one done. Got the Shopify account up and running. Now I just get these NFTs and those two in the next two weeks, then it's Gucci. Then I can, I can play. I can watch things. <laughs> I don't have to concentrate. <laughs> I don't have to concentrate like it's supposed to. But I've really been concentrating trying to get these, this stuff up, guys. So please, please, please. I don't want you to think like, yes, you can't come on my thing. But I, I am coming. I am gonna come on and rock with y'all. And if y'all want me to guess, want me to be a guest, just hit me up. I'm all for it. But I want to show y'all this a little bit more in detail. So we got this is on wood, guys. This is on wood. To let y'all know, uh, mixed media piece. We got a little bit of texture going on. I'm gonna fix this because I don't like the way this right here looks. I'm really pink. I'm, I don't like the way that look right there. It's really. I gotta fix this part right here. Um, and then we're gonna do this. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this cassette tape, guys. Hmm, I gotta figure that one out. I have this crazy idea, and I don't know if I can do it, but I want to test it out. Put the cassette in uh, molding paste to make it like 3D up. That's kind of dope. See these things come to my head, guys, and I'll just get it. <laughs> I just get it in my head. But I like the way this look. This is looking good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna since I can't figure out what I want to do with this right here, I'm gonna sit it to the side like I always do. One thing I do, I don't force the creativity. If it's not then I can't think about it. And I, when you force your creativity, you fuck up. I'm just gonna be honest. I mess up and I don't like that. And some stuff that I wouldn't have to take time more to fix the issue that what I could have just waited way too came to me. So I don't rush the process. And I advise anybody out there, don't rush the process. If it's not, can't think of something like I can right now, figure out what I really, really want on that. So I really like this piece. And I'm really cleaning this up because I'm gonna fix this right here. I'd probably look great to y'all, but to me, I don't like the way it looks. I wanna fix this a little more. So with that, we're gonna sit this to the side. Like I always do with other stuff, but that's okay. We'll get it done. You ain't going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. At least I hope not. <laughs> so we're going to let this to the side for a second. And then we're going to jump on some sneakers. I want to show you some sneakers. Let me go grab some sneakers. Uh, yes. We're gonna, yes, we're jumping on some sneakers. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, this is how I do. Okay, I've been selling this custom sneakers for a while now, for a couple of years. Now, I have all types of sneakers. Um, but I still have a case load left of some black, just regular, basic, old school skips. But they have dope designs. Nothing too fantastic. I did, I did have a case, I did order a case of Air Force Ones, and I did get them in. And that's way gone. So those are gone. 
So you might know me from back in the days when I was doing my Air Force Ones. I don't have no more Air Force Ones. I am trying to get some more in. Um, and hopefully I will. But these are the shoes. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side right here so y'all can really see. So these is how it comes. So I made this, uh, you get a box, plastic container that I got from the container store, brand new. Um, you have my logos on it, my logos on it, um, four coin. So old school, yes, yeah, so you, you get your own container. Um, when you open it up, it came with uh, everything in it. And these are the sneakers that I paint on. So you can order whatever artwork you want. I have the sneakers right here. They just basic sneakers, you know, that you buy from the store. No name brand. I didn't want no brand name on it, so that's why I got it because I wanted my own official sneaker. I know it's not brand name, guys, but they still keep black sneakers. Okay. I know they're a little, they're a little old school. They like a little bit of the Vans. It's Vans style. That's what I kind of wanted. I wanted to type of a Vans look for these little Black little Californians, you know, they're not my regular sneaker style like I do. I'm a Nike Air Force One type girl, uh, you know, a Nike track, you know, Adidas track. That's me, it's Dan Smith type girl. I love sneakers. I am a sneaker collector. I am a sneaker corn store. Yes, I am a female that will wear a wedding dress with some high top dope ass joints. That will be me. Yes, I will wear a beautiful gown with some dope ass Nike ears. Yes, that will be me. That, I'm that girl. I am that girl with a beautiful evening gown. I want to give a fuck how much because if I got some dope ass kicks on my feet, it's just gonna make it special. <laughs> I am not the high hair girl. Yes, I am. Hi, Mel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you. So I am a huge, huge fan of sneakers. So I like fans. Vans was cool, but I'm a New York girl. So Vans was, and that's like a California thing, like a West Coast thing. I'm more of an East Coast girl, dress type girl. So I dress more like huh, a Harlem girl. So let me just clarify that. And I'm an adult. I know I'm in my adulthood. And I know I still dress like a Harlem girl. Um, you just can't take the Harlem girl out of me. You can plant me in any city you want, but you can't take the Harlem New York out of me. That's the way I am. But like I said, I love, love sneakers. I like Vans, don't get me wrong. It's just a little bit too flat. But I never really bought too many Vans. I painted on a lot of Vans. But like I said, I'm a Nike Air Force One, Stan Smith, you know, Adidas type of girl. <laughs> so with these right here, so here's the sneakers. Let me show you. So I have all sizes. This I have all sizes. The sizes I think I got a good probably. Uh, I could put the sizes. I'm gonna put the sizes down on the on my site so everybody can pick from whatever sneaker size you is and make it as possible. These are I only charge. I think I'm like one fifty for these. Yeah, I only charge like one fifty. I don't charge too much. They are just regular old plant sneakers. Pretty much. So I charge. 150 to 175, depending on the size, please. When they already paid with the customs now, customize, you want me to put particular things on it? That's a whole different ballpark. I think I charge 250 for customs, but 175 for just once I put the artwork on it. Thank you guys. So, but these particular sneakers, they are a size seven and a half. I have the sizes on the box. See? Let me show y'all. Oh, it's always good to see you too, Mel. I hear from you rather than I see you, but I hear from you. <laughs> so this is a seven and a half. Let's just see. That's how I that's how it comes. It comes with a little let's create the custom kits. So you get this with my little stick and then you get the little my little box. Yes, yeah, my homemade little container, but it's official. You get the official container store shoebox. So I feel every sticker should be in a dope shoebox that you can say that's just me. I wish Nike would put days in, but that probably cost me too much money. <laughs> but uh, these are the sneakers. Okay, so what we're going to do today, 
we're going to paint these, basically, bottom line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it off because I don't want the bottom of the shoe painted. Maybe we will. Who knows? I don't know how this is going to come out. What's it going to come out to? But uh, and what we're going to do in it, I don't know. But we are going to have some fun on it. I am going to take the shoelaces. I'm going to leave the shoelaces in because I was being really lazy. <laughs> and this was going to paint on top of it. So I don't think I'm going to paint the inside of this. I'm just going to paint the outside. Because so that's what we're going to do today. Yeah, let's just do, we're just going to do the outside of this and the, the little line right here, the little back. So yeah, this little part right here. We're going to paint. So I'm just going to paint this and paint this out. So let's do that. So what we're going to do today, and these are seven and a half. So if anybody needs a seven and a half sneaker, and uh, maybe we do a tribute to, I don't know. Let's figure that out. I don't know. But in the meantime, between times, if I can't figure this out right now, we're going to tape it up. Let's tape it up, guys. So how we do this, like I said, I usually use, I don't use uh, painter's tape on too much stuff because painter's tape become loose. So I use a lot of masking tape. And how I start is really inside of the seam. That's the easiest part. That's the first thing you want to do is tape off. Okay? Before you start cleaning off your thing. And you want to tape off every place that you don't want basically paint at. Simple as that. So I'm just putting in all the. And you want to make sure you tape is really in the grooves because you don't want to have a specific space you know wasted or come up and it's like ah oh, i could have put some more paint right there you know what i'm saying we're just gonna take that off very fast get this side let's take it off if we need your exacto knife get it out because you want to make sure all everything is in there really piss really clean see i don't want that to come over so i need to pull that up bring it up because it's partly painting on can you see that that's going to be the part we're painting on. So you just easy just manipulate the tape to what you how you want it. See? You're just pushing in. I don't really have to do too much time. No real stress. Just easy flowing, taping on. We can stick it in right at the seam. Just put it on. What I am mean, going to do is make sure this piece right here. Like I said, you want to make sure you tape correctly because that piece of tape could stop where the flow of the paint is so it won't be even. So yes, that little piece will drive me crazy. So stuff that drive you crazy, fix it. <laughs> just fix it. So I'm just going to take that little piece to make sure. There we go. All right, is that in? Side the seam. No. What I'm doing is just cutting that piece off real fast. Yeah, see me. I'm trying to get this little piece of tape off. There we go. See that? That little piece would drive me crazy. That little piece will mess my whole artwork up. So you gotta be really clean. That's why with the helmet, it's going to take me time to do the helmet taping because you want those little extras, those little extra uh, ins and outs really taped good. Sneakers, I've been taping sneakers so many years now that, like I said, it didn't take me 10 minutes to actually tape up a sneaker and then paint. So I'm, I'm used to that. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't take me that long to tape up sneakers. But with certain objects like that helmet, you want to be really detailed and clean with it. So with these two, but like I said, it's not like I taped up a bunch of bike helmets before. So we're going to do that later on when I'm going to watch a TV watching Netflix channel. 
Okay, so see how I did that? Okay, no, you didn't. See how I did that. <laughs> okay, guys, so I want you to see, I'm just taping this up. You see, I'm just taping the seams up really fast. And once we do that, let me just show you real fast. We're gonna paint it. And we are going to just do the I'm just gonna put that right there. And so I don't know if I'll paint the rubber yet. But uh I'm I usually now nah, if you're an amateur and you never paint on sneakers, you need to paint this whole part out here too. To take all that out. Take all this over. All this can be taped up. I am I, I, I'm not boasting my, my bagel or anything. I'm not boasting my, my talents, but I am used to just painting what's inside these particular shoes. So and it takes too long and time to see. I really don't need to to paint the outside. I'm gonna take the outside of it because I think I want to, to actually drip. I don't know yet, but I want to have that option. So I just want to show y'all. We got that one taped down. Move the box out the way. And let's do this one. Okay, we got that done. Yeah, and remember, I'm only taping that part. And hold on, I forgot the back. I'm only taking that part and this part right here. That's the part that I'm going to paint. Right there. And I'm going to tape real fast right here. Then I put it right as the seam. It's right in the seam. I'm not worrying about all that rest of, rest of that part because I'm gonna take that, you see? Okay. I'm just gonna put that right underneath here. Because that's the part we are going to take. And you gotta make sure you really line it up with all the seams, guys, because even if the seams is crooked on the stitch, still tape it as whatever the seam is. Okay, so. so. Like I said, these are just some really cool little kicks. Canvas sneakers. Looks like vans. They are not vans, guys. It is basic, regular canvas sneakers. No name brand. They're my name brand, but they're comfortable. I just tried them on. When I bought these in the caseload, I tried them on. I got them to try them on. They are comfortable. That's one thing I make about it. They're gonna be little cheap sneakers that I be comfortable. I'm not putting on my feet, no damn sneakers unless it's comfortable. These are comfortable and they're affordable. And I know a lot of people want to some sneakers, so I got them. When I get the shipment of the uh, order of Nikes in, those will be a lot more money. And that's my private collection. I charge up to five hundred to a thousand for some. But these right here. Like I said, 200 bucks, 150, 175, sometimes. Real cheap, real decent, real cheap. Okay, so now that we got that taped up, I guess, yeah, I just take, take that. I just take the basic part up. Um, let's do that over here on this one. Real fast. Just tape up the basic parts. And if you're rocking with me and you just tuned in, welcome. Everyone, welcome, welcome. I'm playing with sneakers and toys and helmets today, t shirts, emails, <laughs> crazy emails. The death pool. I can't believe somebody actually hit me with that. People are funny when they're trying to get over you. Okay, you see how I did that, guys? It's really simple and easy. You see how that is? It's taped in. Really fast into the seam. You just fill your way in and you just use your nail. There's no science to it. It's just real simple. Things. And you can do that with any sneaker. Just find the seam, line it up, and take the parts that you're not going to take. Just make sure it's really getting really good so you won't have no tape. No paint on the part that you don't want to paint. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Just tape it in. 
any sneaker. Just go with your fingers, go with your flow. And if you feel like you're gonna get paint on it, put a piece of tape over it. Boom, like that, see? That's why I didn't take out the laces, guys. <laughs> Work smart, not hard. That's my motto. Work smart, not hard. I'm not even going to do the inside. If I was doing the inside, yes, I would take all that out, tape it off, and, and tape all that. But we're not doing the inside of this. We're just doing the outside and the little seam right now, the back seam. So we're just going to tape over there. That side is good. This inside is good. Make sure that's in there really good. That looks good. I want to make sure that, that looks good. That looks good. So we, did it. we did that in what, 10 minutes? If I wasn't running my mouth, I probably did less than that. Just the extra tape and just, you know, don't worry about the tape. Use as much tape as you can and utilize your tape really smartly. Because use masking tape can get expensive, guys. That's right, work smart, not hard. Learned that a long time ago. Why well, get difficult when you do things real fast and easy? This is nothing to save a person's life, but just makes them to have fun with it. work easy, you know what I'm saying? So, and then see right here, I'm just gonna put the light with the seam. See how I just put it right in the seam? Like I just stick it right in the seam. Like I said, I've been doing this for a very long time, so I'm a little faster with it. But if you need to take your time, take your time. I'm used to these rules and I know how to do this. I paint live when I'm out in, at, at conventions and I do sneakers at conventions. So I have to tape and prep sneakers really fast. So that's how I, I especially if I know the sneakers, like I know the sneakers of Nike, Adidas, and you, some, I did a couple of new balance. They a little more, take a lot more time because of they, the way these seams are. But Nikes, Air Force Ones and stuff like that, I know like the back of my damn hand. So I can tape, paint that probably in a couple of minutes. A couple of, I can tape it in probably in a couple of minutes, definitely. Painting depends on the art rate. Okay, so we all taped up, as you see, look guys, we all taped up. Now I am gonna take this little part right here because that's part of the seam and I just want this part. So we are gonna take up that little part right there. So take the already cut, perfect lined up cut, and put that that way, see? Perfect seam and just cut it, boom. Don't take the tear part you tore, once again, just take the Clean on when cut part, put it right even on it, perfect. Bow. And just tape over. All right. We are taped up. And that's how you tape up a pair of sneakers. Stay with the seam, go with the line. Okay, step two. Once you got all that done, you want to prep your sneakers. Now, these are prepping sneakers. So you taped it up. Now you're going to do is you're going to do your base coat. All sneakers you just can't straight paint to. Well, you can, but I don't suggest it. I suggest you put a base coat. Let's say white sneakers. Say white sneakers, yes, you just paint straight to it if your background is going to be white or whatever color. These particular colors, so when they're black sneakers, you want to put a base coat of white. So the colors that you do put on it, regardless if you're not putting it all over the sneaker, or if you are, you definitely want to make sure you put the base coat of white on it. So let's do that. I'm gonna show you two ways. So we're gonna get some um, paint. Now you can use acrylic white paint or you can use gesso. I use gesso for the base coat paint because I really want it to pop more. With the regular acrylic paint, it's going to adhere cool, a little hair fine, but it gives it a little bit of, 
Hmm. How should I say? It don't give you that hold like you would with the gesso paint. If that makes sense. I just use just paint. <laughs> Let me get that. Okay, so I'm gonna pour that in there. So with the gesso paint, I just don't use gesso by itself. No, guys, you know I don't. I also put in with the fabric paint, even though it's not gonna be washed or anything like that and dry. You see me like I want You can, but not to make me just gonna sit there and watch paint sneakers, so no. But I still put in my fabric paint, uh, folding fabric paint for this month, this right here, just because I don't want it to crack, paint to crack or anything like that. So I'm just adding that at the end of it. So I get my favorite golden. Put a couple of drops in there. This is my Golden Gap 900. It's a heat and fabric painting. So, man, so this book, what it helps with is the cracking, the fading of the paints on clothing. And when, you know, real extreme heats it, it doesn't crack. It. So that's why I, I use it on all type of fabrics that I use. I paint on sneakers, jeans, or whatever I'm painting on, I throw that in there. That's my recommendation. That's what I do. That's my crazy methods. So I'm gonna mix this up. I I'm gonna put that little medium into it. So let's mix that up there. Really, 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 really good. Yeah, these are ice, these are actually ice makers, but <laughs> I thought it'd just be a great, great palette. Okay, so what we're gonna do now next is get some brushes. Let me get my brushes going, guys. Hold on. Let me just find my towel. Okay. All right, so let's base coat the sniffer. So we're gonna start with the back. Let's take the back slowly, easy. And you don't want to always paint. Add a grain, the grain you painting. So if you're going this way, keep going that way. Don't go down and up. Do that first. Just do the first coat. If you can see me, sorry. And then go down. See what I'm saying? Don't go against the grain, basically. And there we go. So that's done. And we're gonna go in. Same thing. You see how all that soaks up? You see how that soaks up, guys? That's why you have to put the base coat. Let me move the sneak out because paint drop in here. See what I'm saying? So you just put the base coat down and go with the grain. The grain is actually going this way, but I'm going down. I started down, so I'm going to keep going down. See what I'm saying? So if the tape is there, this will all be taped up. So you want to slowly, if the tape's there, you go a little faster. But since the tape's not there for me, I got to go a little slower. Okay, hey guys, we're gonna go down. Like I said, try to not put a, to have all your, have all the paint caked up. Make sure it's spread evenly around. You have to make sure it's spread evenly around because you don't want it to cake up and build. You want one nice clean, one nice clean, uh, as I say, level of flow. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Well, right now, I usually do, it depends on how it looks. Like, you see how I, uh, it depends. It really depends on how after it dry. Once it dries, if it looks like I can go like, okay, say for instance, you see how light that is? You don't want it that light. You want it to make sure that the white is there, like it's really on. So it depends on the sneaker and the shoe. You want to get it to brightness as much. If it looks like it's just fade into the, you know, into the black, and it's like really, really light. It's not white. It's gray. Put another coat. Yes. How did that make sense? I hope that makes sense, guys. So yes, 
put uh see but always go with the grain try to make sure this flows really easy and light because you don't want the paint to to buckle up and you want to make sure that all the level paint is the same see what i'm saying you see how light it is over here that's when you know you need more paint <laughs> but you want to keep it consistent now that's another thing you want to keep it consistent because you don't want too much paint on one side of white and too much paint on the other because it will show in your colors so keep your level of paint really smooth and clean on it you don't want no see there's no lines and everything that's what you don't want you want to make sure you have no lines that's why i told you to paint with your grain Keep everything level. If you're going straight up and down, keep it straight up and down. Do not go zigzag and then up and down and zigzag. Those patterns like that on, on fabric, you can see, and this is just a base coat, you can see that line work once you add the color. So I suggest just go with the grain. Like I said, just go with the grain, same color. You see how everything is consistent with the same See how that is, guys? I'm gonna move this out the way. See? See now, see how light it is on this side, and see how light it is on this side? See, this side needs more white. So I'm gonna go in and just hit it again. I want to hit it real nice, not too much paint, guys. You don't want to put too much paint on it. Like I said, you just want one clean level of paint so you want everything to look totally even now guys what i just did is i've been doing these sneakers I've been doing sneakers for a couple years now okay i've been doing it for a lot of years so i suggest that y'all tape up <laughs> your edges around here i don't need to do it because like i said i'm kind of used to this part right here so I'm used to, and I have a steady hand, so I know how to get in there like this, you see? Let me show you. I know how to get into the, really get in there. See what I'm saying? You gotta really just get all, I get every nook and cranny when it comes down to painting this color. So I like to get into there. So I wanted to make like the sneaker actually, like you printed it up on the sneaker. Okay, see how you did that, guys? Get that all clean. So get all your edges. Remember, this is just taped off. Just get all your edges. And just going in really light. Keep it the same flow and consistency. See? So there won't be no extra lines. See how everything looks and flows neatly. And making sure that all the corners is done. Looks is done really good. I'm going to go one more time to get those little edges in there. Yeah. Voila. See? You keep your grain. Remember, stay with the grain, guys. Stay with the grain. And there you go. Now, I'm going to let that dry. Now, you now depending on what color you're using. Now, this is the cast, guys. Listen to this. Depending on what color you're using, like yellow, bright colors, like neon, I would add another coat on it. So I will let this dry for an hour and add another white on it. Really thin coats. Now remember, do thin coats. So I would add another white on it. If I'm using like blues or dark blues or baby blues, something like that, or greens and stuff, I would just leave the one in, the one just like this. But if I'm going to use yellow as a background, yes, I will put another coat of white on it. And I think I'm going to be using another background for this, but I think I'm going to make these probably yellow or orange, some type of summery bright color. So matter of fact, we're going to use some neon colors, but I'm going to try that out. So yes, I am going to put another coat of white on that. So I'm going to let that dry. So once you have that completely like that, looking like this with the one layer, put it to the side. Now you see this back part? You see how light that is? You're definitely going to have to hit this again with another coat, because you want that to be really, really white. 
See what I'm saying, guys? So I'm going to hit that one more time. Keeping the same your grain, whatever how you put your grain, meaning don't go against the grain. You should never go against the grain. Don't go against the grain. That's just the street code of life, and that's the part of life in art. Don't go against the grain. Okay, so we're going to let that dry, guys. We're going to move that to the side, and then we're going to use this one. Okay, now this one, I'm going to do totally different. Now this one, I am going to actually not use the whole shoe, meaning I'm not going to paint the whole thing out. What I'm going to do first is just paint this part out. And so I'm running out of white. Let's get that in there. That first base coat on there. I'm going to put some more in there. Yeah, this one. You're going to put more. I ran out of paint right there, so you're going to add more. I'm just going to put that little base coat. We'll add more later. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this. I'm going to look for my pencil. Where's my pencil? Hmm. Where's my pencil? Okay, I gotta find my pencil. I don't know where it's at, but I'm just, just gonna need one out. Okay, these pencils right here, I use a lot. I use these chalk pencils a lot. They're the best things in the world. I love them because they, they make it easier for me. So, what I'm gonna do here, where's my this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw out on here um, a splat because I don't want to use the whole shoe. So since I have paint right there, so I'm drawing out just a big, fat, crazy little ink splat. Yep. See? I'm just going to draw it out by hand. Just gonna this crazy little, give it a lot of little, and there we go. Perfect. So what I drew right now is just some little splats of ink. I'm just gonna do like this. Big one right here. Look like a little splat. Right there. See guys, how that look? You guys see that? So what I drew out was just a uh, splat. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Yes, we're doing some spot coating. <laughs> we're doing some spot coating, guys. We're doing something different because I'm coming to the top of my head. I don't know what I'm drawing on it, but I feel like we're gonna play and be inventive with this one because yes, of course, I am going to use that. Yes, what I'm going to use, guys, I'm going to use that uh, marbling medium because I want that wet look right here. We're going to play that. Yeah, we're going to play today. We're going to play today. We're going to play today. If we ain't playing no other days. We're going to play today. Nice. Good <laughs> show. I'm oh, sorry, guys. That's a lack of hunger. The lack of hunger. You got that? So that's the lack of hunger. Okay, so let's pour this down here. I beg point. I beg. Oh, shit. Hold up. Hold up. Time out. Wait a minute. I just read this here. Hold up, dog. Okay, Miguel. How you doing, sweetheart? You said I baked paint in a silicone in silicone the out it in the freezer. Okay, so you baked the silicone. Okay, I know I'm ebonics, but then I'm reading this correct. I baked paint in silicone the out it in the freezer, pulled it out the splatter on the canvas. Okay. So you put paint in the silicone, like this is silicone. Like you put you put paint in here, you put it in the freezer, and then you pull it out the freezer, and then you splatter it. I baked it in a silicone. Oh, a silicone like you have. Oh, you baked it. So when did you put it in the? 
Okay, you baked it, and then you pulled it out, and then and then put it in the freezer for ten minutes, and then splat it on on a canvas. Oh shit, that's interesting. I love stuff like this. Okay, okay, Miguel. Okay, guys. <laughs> Miguel got me really interested in that right there. So when you start to manipulate the paint, I love it. Let's manipulate it. So you're telling me acrylic paints, I can, is it acrylic paints or silicone based paint? What? I'm assuming it's acrylic paint. And you stick it in the, plus how long do I bake it for? 350 or for 15, okay, 350 for 15 minutes. Bake the paint. But won't it get hard? Whoa, dude. Oh, after you bake it, won't it get hard once you put it in the freezer? Okay, you bake it, you put it in the freezer. So how do you splat it afterwards? Is it hard? And it just bursts like a like a like a balloon? Because it holds the paint inside? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm correct. Am I correct with that, Miguel? But this is interesting to me, guys. I love it. I love when people come up with ingenious ideas because I love to experiment on paint. And yeah, you're going to have me experiment like crazy. <laughs> you're going to really have me experiment. Oh, did I put in this guy? Did I put this in? I don't know if I put that in there. But I don't know. If I didn't know I did. Okay, you need to put it in the freezer so it sets and you can pull it out. Oh, and this is with acrylic paint. All right, all right, dude. I'm gonna try this. Yes, I am going to try it because I love trying crazy, neat things that you can do with paint. Oh my goodness. I've never thought about putting acrylic paints in the oven. What made you think of that? Does it change the texture of the paint when you splat it? What's the what's the whole is it changing the format of the paint? Does it come out a different type of texture? Or do you have to put it in the freezer and doing all that? That's my question. That makes sense, guys. You need to put it in the freezer. So my question is, what's the difference? When you put it in the freezer, what type of texture is coming out? Do it turn different colors? Do it get glossy? Do it, you know, what's the what does it do to make it be so fantastic chilling out the oven? Because I'm gonna try it, but I wanna know what I'm looking for. You know, I wanna know what the effect of it and how it comes out. You know, does it make it look glossy? Does it make it have a special effect to it? Oh my God, I'm trying to get some of this paint off of here. I'm using the wrong brush with this right here, the wrong brush. Okay, I see a lot of typing going on movement over there. Oh my God, not the look. I'm just getting this in here. Okay. Okay, once you mash it up, because like I said, this is cooked and frozen. So once you mash it up with a fork or whatever, how are you splatting it? Because isn't it hard consistency? So how are you splatting it onto the canvas? See? And then when you splat it onto the canvas, what type of texture does it does it change? Do you know what I'm saying? Does it change the texture? What what's the purpose of doing all that? That's my question. I guess I'm trying to figure out. I like it the way it is, but what's the sound like it's gonna be dope, but I wanna know what's the okay, I'm about to read you. Give me a second, dude. Imagine a chocolate with a fudge in the middle. Put it hard. Put it hard. Okay. All right. I can't imagine that. I can't. Can't imagine that. I'm trying to think. So, so it'd be like a thick coat that you have on it. Is that it? It's like a thick coating. Hmm. 
This is interesting to me. Very interesting. Very interesting to me. Hold on. I see you writing something, dude. Give me one second. I see you writing something. I don't know what it is, but let's give me one moment. Um, like a Cadbury egg, then you mess it. Oh, okay. Okay, I can see that. So that will burst onto the onto the canvas. So whatever's in the middle of it. So basically you're baking different colors. I'm assuming. Or, well, not baking the different colors, and then you mash them up all together once it's on the canvas, so it will splat out different colors in the inside. So is one inside of the color, is the inside a different color and the outside a different color? You know, you see what I'm saying? Is it two colors that we're working with? Many? Let's see. Uh, but the outer layer is hard, so it does not splat when you mash it. Oh, I miss all. I miss all. Okay. It's all good. You just explained to me a thing. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's something totally different. Yeah, I want to work with two colors because I, I'm I'm trying to figure out what is the basis of doing that. You know what I'm saying? Do it come back? Do it come shiny? Do it have an effect? Uh, do it have some type of you know, to doing that whole process of baking and doing all that, it has to come out some type of uh, fun way, right? And I know you figured out this process. So is it glossy? Is it matte? Do we give it a funky little? I need a small thing. It creates a different texture. That's where I'm getting at. Oh, there we go, partner. Here we go. Yeah, I'm a girl for texture. I love me some textures. That's what I was trying to bring out of you. Here we go. Now we're talking, baby. So it comes a different texture. Yeah, that's me. I'm the texture queen. I love different textures. So I am definitely going. What type of texture is it? Is it really soft or is it hard or is it or do it look like a rock form? I love stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta switch. I gotta switch. Uh, Need to switch uh, paint brushes. Give me a second now. Switching paint brushes. I need a little more detail on that one. I don't know if this is the right brush. Either. I think I can go smaller. What I'm doing right now is just putting a little baby splat. And with the splats, you want to put as much white on it at the time and trying to come back and cleaning up and add more paint because it's really time consuming. So I try to hit it all at one time with the splash, meaning try to get the hardest coat I can get down. Okay, with these little ones, I need to get a little thinner brush here to get into side of it, you see what I'm saying? So hold on. But I get that hard and gooey on, the oh! So when it dries, it looks like a little melting. Oh, that sounds so freaking dope. <gasps> the material comes matte. Oh, that's yo. Have you tried it with two colors? That's what you got to try with two. Oh, now you're gonna have me. Okay, you're gonna have to come on my don't sweat the techniques, and then you're gonna have to go in there and really try this out too. Yes, Miguel, you're gonna have to come on. With me. You're gonna have to come on. With me. You're gonna have to do this together, Miguel, because you done created a monster. <laughs> I'm that monster and I love doing new crazy explorative stuff with paint and paint tools. So we're gonna have to definitely chop it up, dude. Hold on guys, I'm looking for my small. Give me a second guys, I'm looking for I'm trying to get my paint brushes together. I have a whole these are my paint brushes right here, my Good ones. I have my bad ones. Then I have my good ones. So hold out a second, guys. I gotta roll out the big dog down because I'm getting into custom painting, so I have to roll out the big dog brushes. Yeah, some brushes are new. I bought a set of new brushes. I bought a bunch of Bob Ross brushes. Don't laugh at me, guys. Don't judge me. 
the mail was just a commercial thing with his name on it, but it's still the Bob Watch. So yeah, so I bought a lot of Bob Watch brushes. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. During uh, COVID, you know, you, you you like hell, you know, COVID had put me through a lot, so I was buying crazy stuff. But as far as uh, utensils to buy from my aunt, I bought crazy stuff. But it works. I love the Bob Watch brushes. Oh, the of my brushes. Okay, and I also have. I buy all types of brushes, all types of brands. But these are the ones I was looking for. These are my tiny brushes. I love these brushes because they really. These are my, I usually take these everywhere with me. These are I usually take everywhere with me. But these right here is my joints. I have all types of sizes. Those are my. Those are my babies. Those are my traveling ones. And I keep everything in these little. I found these little plastic bags over at IKEA, and I found them. So I use them for my my markers and my paintbrushes. It's really great. I'm just tapping it back onto here. Hold on, guys. Snapping it back on my art table here. Okay. All right. Let's get back to. I hope that didn't dry on me. Woo. Good. Okay, so now I found a better brush. Now I can get inside of here. Way better. See? That came out way better. Way better. Um, green tube. Oh, this one right here. This is uh, I I used to I well, I sell um I had a own my own uh, art supply store where I still uh, where I sell street art products. So a lot of the brands that I was using, I really researched them and really went into detail with them because I wanted to sell brands that was really good and really helpful. So um, this was the System Three original. These are by Dale and um, Mommy. These were some reasonable, this is a great paint. There's three paints that I kind of use and play with. I, my main two is Golden and Liquid Dust. Those are my paints hands down. I can find them anywhere. And I can get them anywhere. Those are my paints hands down. They're expensive, but I love them. I just thought about it. I wanted to blend that white in before they get all lumpy. You see how I jumped up and just stopped what I was doing because it was starting to dry in. And you don't want that, guys. So let me just spread that paint out. I don't like it. You can't have your paint you want. You just get all that extra paint just getting out real fast. I just didn't that real fast. Sorry, guys. Okay, but this is the um. So I was selling this. I still sell this. So if anybody wants some, you can always email me. I, I do sell our supply stuff for wholesale prices. So yes, I do. Email me or hit me up. I will have a spot on my new Shopify account. I will have a section for our supplies. Um, specialty our supplies if you ask me what I'm But yeah, this is what I was selling in my art store. I love this brand. This is like the a cheaper brand. I can go in the desk, but they're really good. His name is Dealer and Rami. I love their brand. It's, it's really good. Um, their colors are brilliant. They have dope colors. So, and this is the professional one, the System Three. So I really like this stuff. Like that's what that is. Yeah, you know. So yeah, there's certain brands I support and there's certain brands that ain't worked up paint it came in that I just won't use on anything. But I try to find, you know, paints that are really good for affordable because a lot of people can't afford a golden and, and sometimes look at this but it's expensive too. Sometimes we can't afford that. Sometimes we gotta get a little cheaper. And I was trying to find a nice cheaper brand that folks can afford, and I found that one. And I've used it um, a lot of times in my paint and on my clothing. So, yes, it's a great paint. So, I do recommend it. And it has, and I love the colors that they have. You know, that's another thing about paints is to having the colors that you need. And sometimes, those crazy unique colors you can't find in certain brands. Yeah. 
So this particular one, okay. So what I'm doing now is just going in, just giving that real good coat of whiteness for this flat, as you see. This is gonna be a couple of layers of white because I want this flat to really pop out. So I'm giving it, yes, a couple of layers, but you gotta make sure everything is smoothy when you put it down there, guys. Do not have caked up paint. Hold on, this is what it has back there. Hold on. Miguel said I like the next one. I've done that. Yep, you're right. It had I have I've done that too. Look at the um the golden heavy with the liquid desk. Yes, I've done that. That's the reason why I use uh liquid desk and golden paints because they don't crack. Um I use that a lot in my uh, my paints because they uh they last longer and they don't fade in. You never know where your client or your collector is going to place your artwork in their home or their business. So I make sure that certain paints, that's why I'm really into my paints. Um, I may be, you know, ghetto fabulous, but I do take real luxury into my paints because I feel like if you don't pay a lot of money for the paints, your paintings or uh, whatever your artwork you're doing, it should hold up for years upon years upon years. You know, it shouldn't crack, it shouldn't fade. It should look like you just painted it. Now, I do save the clothing. Sometimes people wash their clothes. It doesn't always work like that. But it can. If you just tell it the rules, you know? Follow what it's been advised to do and you'll be good to go. All right, guys, so I'm getting in there. You're doing good with this. This is coming out really good. What I'm doing is just doing a couple of plain spreads. We are painting our sneakers today. Now, as I say, guys, before, when you're painting these sneakers or you're doing sneakers, make sure you tape out everything. I've been doing this a long time. I get lazy without doing all that taping. I just take the major parts for me that I know that needs to be taping. The rest that I know I can hand freehand it, I just freehand it. And if I get lazy and I don't feel like freehanding, I use my stencils <laughs> to make it go faster. So I can call it what you want, you know, whatever it is. It's just, I just go with my flow and the way I like to do things. Yeah. All right, guys, hold on. That looks bad. There's my splat. So we got two little more little splats over here to do. But see, as I was saying, now I want to show you something, guys. You see how that dried? Look at that. That needs another coat of that answer your question right there. Yes, this needs another coat of white. That's why you gotta let the first coat seep in, let it get into the grooves of all the, you know, of the thread, and then put the other coat. Because that's what you always want to do. You want to wait for it dry. Don't wash it, just wait till it dries, and then put the next coat on, because that will seal in that first coat. That, that, sec that will seal in the second coat. Okay, guys, so what I'm doing now, so like I said, I'm just painting in spot coating, or spot painting, where I'm gonna be painting that. I'm not painting the whole shoe. I wanted to show you two different styles of painting shoes, one fully, and one just spot coating. I call it spot coating. There's just certain spots that I'm painting on. Just gonna put that there. Put that there. Give my sneaker some tear drops. Did a little time. <laughs> you gotta give it a little tear drops. Yeah, that's nice. I'm uh Sometimes I'm a perfectionist, guys, and I gotta have it really like that one. There we go. And see how this is still need a little more white to it? There we go. I'm just gonna put a little more white. Just gonna add more white there. 
very dry. I'm just making sure everything is really laid down clean, guys. Make sure, because you do not want no lumps or bumps on it. Good. All right. That looked good. That looked good, right, folks? That looked good. That looked good. Just joining me. Rock with me. It's your girl, Miss Create. I'm just painting, running my mouth, chilling with y'all. Trying to get some stuff done. Uh, doing some sneakers. So I did a couple of things today. So it's been good. Rocking with y'all right now. Live in full effect. Yeah, golden always give high pigmentation. That's why I love golden. It just costs a lot of money. So when you are doing commissions, guys, and you know your paint is golden, add that in your budget, guys. Seriously, because people don't, I know it's a lot of artists don't add, like, paints into a spot. but they just add paint. But you have to add certain paint. Like, certain paints are cheap and certain paints, you know that. When you really doing your artwork and you decide to do it all in gold and things, I consider the brands that I'm using when I'm doing my uh, commissions and everything. Because some brands I know doesn't offer it, so I do use certain brands for certain things. <laughs> he said, "I know what that tear to." It's actually a splat. It wasn't a teardrop, dude. I know what that teardrop means, too. <laughs> I love it. I know. I, I noticed that. You might have to tell them about that. I, I noticed that some of the comments is coming in slow. Uh, my, it's, it, it, but I noticed that the little meter here has been good and bad, so. That's what's going on. I don't know if that's what's particularly going on, but who knows? But yeah, the shoe drop at the little teardrop. Yeah, we throw a little teardrop. You know, I'm just kidding, guys. I didn't do nothing. It wasn't in the pen. <laughs> okay, so we got the teardrop there. So we're going to do right here. It's still, this is dry. So we're going to put another coat on this, on this one. We're going to let this one dry because we want to see how far it dries and it needs. We dry. We don't know if it's gonna dry like this or like this. If it dries like this, this is great. I won't put no more paint on it. Well, if I see a little paint blob. <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on. That's okay. Okay, so I might put one more coat onto that. That really looks good. But I don't know. But that looks good. So what we are gonna paint is more of this. Oh, I gotta do the back of it too. So let's do some more. And I'm still looking for my damn phone. Oh my god. I'm gonna put the phone Oh, here it is, guys. I found it. Okay. All right. Whoa, I didn't know it's 10 o'clock, guys. That's okay. I'm still rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me? I'm gonna rock with y'all. I'm in the mood. Seven, eight, now we've been on for what? Two and a half hours. Okay, that's cool. I'm in a beautiful mood. Y'all in a beautiful mood? You gonna still rock with me? Let's finish rock. Okay, so. Okay, so. We're gonna finish these up, like I said. Let's finish these up. It's coming out really good. The sun is beaming through, guys. Hold on. I need to. Okay, guys, hold 
One moment, guys. I'm just looking at a text real fast, guys. So, all right. All right, guys. Let's get back to this again. And now we're going to check on that show, too. See how that's coming out. All right, so let's do this one more time. We're going to paint this over a little more. Real fast. Look, that came out so good. So what we're going to do is just put another coat on that. And then after that, we start playing down the base color. Now, what color I'm using on this, I don't know. I know we're going to use a bright color. I am going to use a bright color. I just don't know what bright color. See, so I'm going in. See, it's a little thicker now. And this side, I'm going, I'm going with the grain of the sneaker. So now with this, you don't want to put too much paint in. You don't want it cakey. So that one coat right there, I'm just going to blend it in with the rest of it. I don't want it really cakey. And then it all thick. And then remember, you still got paint going on top of this. So you don't... And you want to make sure it's the same consistency because it will show a different type of texture on top of it. Just go in. You can see what I'm doing. Around the top of here. Really good. You just get those corners really good and then paint it out. Just get in there, go in. Just get right up in there. There we go. And just blow that out. You don't want no caked up. Like I said, you don't want new caking of the paint. Just go in. That's what I'm doing. Just getting the last of that paint. Just getting the last of that paint and just blend it in. You don't need no more. Just get it right in there. There we go. See how that nice little flow is? And there we go, see, just really in there. Just get it really in there. There we go. Okay. And then you clean all that up. You just gonna clean all that up. See, just clean all that. You don't want no cake, no buildup, guys. You want all the paint to be all clean and level because that will show through. That will show through your, uh, to the colors on it. When you, when you start really painting, when you paint, it does. I mean, it, then it gets the paint really heavy and cakey, and that's not good to me. That makes the paint crack. So the less paint you put on the sneaker, the less you have to worry about cracking. So try not to put heavy layers on your sneakers or your clothing. I, I see people put a lot of paint, and you don't need that much paint on fabric, because remember, this is fabric. So it will bend, it will crack. So you don't want to put this, it's not painting. You're not doing it on a picture form canvas type. You know, if that makes sense. Okay, we're just gonna just put an access in the middle of that right there, access paint this on the brush. All right, so let's do a, I've got one more part. 
And it's going to do real fast. Put some more. What I have right now is gesso. What I just did was just gesso. This is not white acrylic paint. This is white gesso acrylic paint. And there's two big differences, guys. This is gesso paint. The reason I put gesso paint because I wanted to hold her hair and lock in those fibers. So where the regular acrylic paint goes on top, it goes on top smoothly, clean, and vibrant. So that's the key. And you don't want to pick up. So we're going to do the back here. And then, as you see, I did add more of the, the golden uh, gap because I already had it mixed up in the bone. See how nice white that is? And that was what, three coats? Perfect. You don't have to do the back of that no more. But look at this one. I'll do this one. We have we already had one light coat on it. So I just make sure put that down. See, I'm just lightly, guys. Don't put a bunch, just lightly. There we go. Don't need that much. And then we're gonna let this draw. Nice. Let us see that. Can you see that, guys? Thank you, Tanya. Tell me how these are coming out. Oh my goodness, bye now. It's 3 a.m. Girl, you better knock out. <laughs> I forgot you out the country, girl. I'm thinking you in the U.S. Just so has a little bit of fondness of life. Uh, mm, not really. I don't know too many gessos that does that. It depends on the gesso I guess you're using. Because this particular, uh, not as much as like varnish. I don't agree with that too much. I mean, I haven't seen all varnishes, so you probably can. Um, and I haven't seen all gessos. But the gessos I've used always turn out like the grainy, dry, brittle type of feel to it, like a thick coat. It never came out of varnish, unless you talk about matte varnish, you know? Yeah, maybe I can see it like that, yeah. Yeah, I know, she's up at 3 a.m. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I said the same thing, you know? But yeah, as far as the varnish, I, I don't know, I guess, I, I, I guess so, I mean, if you say so, you've probably seen something like that. But I haven't seen, like I said, I haven't seen all varnishes and I haven't played with all gesso. So you can say, but the ones I have played with and, and done like this particular book, this one is a cheap brand. And they usually like this, um, just more grainy, more matte, dry, like chalky, more than anything. I've never really seen them as more as a varnish type finish, but I'm not going to say there isn't anything about them. So. But you know. Okay. So we're gonna let this dry out. And what I'm gonna do real fast to dry this out, because I still don't know what color we're using, guys. We're gonna just hit it with this real fast. <laughs> I'm watching me look at me on Netflix. Uh, I seen that one. That is really good. And when you finish watch that one, watch Big Eyes. Big Eyes is real good. I seen that one. Made you look is really good. That's a really good movie. You're gonna enjoy that one. But also watch, like I said, also watch Big Eyes. And there's another one on there too. Oh, what's the other one? Oh, I just watched it the other day. Oh my goodness. Shoot, I can't think of it. Oh, it's really, really, really good. Oh, what was, oh, I can't think of it. It's gonna come back to me. When they come back to me, I'm gonna tell you what it is. But Big Eyes was good. Um, damn it, what's the name of that damn movie I watched? Damn, I can't think of it now. Sorry guys, I'm a Netflix freak too. I love Netflix. I'm watching right now. You know what I'm watching? This has nothing to do with art, guys, but I'm watching, um, what's the name of this damn movie? Something. Sweet Tooth. <laughs> I'm watching Sweet Tooth. It's really kind of interesting. 
I watch weird stuff, guys. I'm a, like I said, I love movies. I'm a TV and movie fanatic. So don't even get me into the the the, the get me into the the art of watching TV. <laughs> You know, don't even get me started. If that just joined me, welcome, 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 guys. I appreciate y'all coming on today with me, watching me for a couple of hours. If you just joined or you've been joining, I am your girl, Tanya Michelle, uh, a.k.a. Miss Create. And uh, I'm the artist. And I do mural, street art, uh, Prints, illustrations, graphic designs. I am a, now I just learned about a multidiscipline artist. I just learned this, multidisciplinary artist. I'm saying, I'm in, I'm in this clubhouse thing, and a lot of people call themselves that. Multiple discipline artists, which, okay, um, which is fine. You know, we dabble in a lot of things, and I guess I'm a multidiscipline artist, but I call myself an urban artist. So, and I love doing urban things like graffiti and uh, tagging and abstract. And I do fine arts also. I have my, just to let you know, quick background, I do have a bachelor's in graphic art and fine arts. So, I've been doing commercial arts for back in the 90s and I graduated doing clothing and I did a lot of stuff. So, check out my bio. You have to check it out there. I don't know why I got into that particular information flowing, but <laughs> I did. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm trying to kill time, basically. These are almost there. Okay, so what we're going to do is pick a color. Let's figure out what color. Since I've been playing, now guys, we're going to do this. We're going to put try this medium. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go for it, guys. But we're going to do it on the... So we're doing it on the splat, or should we do it on this? I want to put this mixing medium that I've been playing with. I'm going to buy some more. Um, this is not mixing. Marbling medium. This is a marbling medium. You can make marble, like the marble swirl, yes. Swirls and all that cute stuff, yes. I've been using this all this time on my T-shirts and jackets and now sneakers. I try the t-shirts and jackets. I love it on the t-shirts and jackets. I have my own little mixture. And so don't try this at home unless you follow what I did. <laughs> I don't want you to go back and like, yo, I was on the broadcast, this crazy chick told me for all the stuff together, and now my shirt is just running down the side. So if you follow what I said, <laughs> you're probably okay. But if you wing it, hey, two tears in the bucket, you know how I say. Like, <laughs> At least you went through it. But if you, if you listen to what I was saying, it should come out like I've been doing. But uh, yes, yeah, so what we're going to do today, again, because I'm in a plain mood, and I'm going to try experimental stuff. I love experiment. I usually do this on Tuesdays, but we also have, oh, let me just tell you that real fast, thinking of Tuesdays. Tuesdays, we do have a special guest, another special guest on Tuesday. Um, he is a curator of collections. He has a collection of artists, uh, we call them art collections and everything. So we're going to go on and talk about that and see what's cracking with him. Um, I'm not going to give no details, information on who it is, because a lot of people, and I know artists and art galleries, they kind of flaky. <laughs> so we're going to see what happens. But well, we do have, I do have guests coming up every Tuesday for the next four or five Tuesdays, which is great. I did schedule everybody, which is fun. Um, so you're gonna meet some exciting men and females and art gallery owners and collective owners to come in and join me on Tuesday. And I really appreciate everybody joining me on Tuesday because that is really interesting. You know, to pick the brains of people that's uh, big in their name or just starting in their game or whatever you are in the creative staff. So feel creative and you want to come on my show just email me you can always come on and rock with me and discuss your art it's like a showcase of people products and a showcase of people art that's basically what i do so join me come follow me rock with me 
This is Sundays, my Sunday morning sessions. I love it. Sometimes I rock for hours. Sometimes I rock for three, four hours. Uh, today, you're getting me for a couple of hours. So, and I'm enjoying it. And um, I'm loving these sneakers right here. So, and then also, I have uploaded and hit the button on my shop up by as hell. Miss Create Merch. Miss Create Merch. Miss Create Merch is up and running. Um, check it out. Yes, I got it up. My girl Michelle, remember yesterday, I feel I was on yesterday on my Juneteenth special. Um, I thought I was going to be rocking with y'all and everything with my little account, but it wasn't up. <laughs> you know what happened, guys? I didn't do my domain correctly yet. I thought, you know, once you put in what your domain you wanted to be, it would automatically just do all that and you know, hit you with the bill. No. That's a whole different, you know, bill and a whole different way you're supposed to do it. So that's what happened yesterday. I didn't have the right, correct domain. I still had none done this, uh, the Shopify account. So I have to make sure I get my miscreate merch. And now I do. So now I can just go on to miscreatemerch.com. It will load up easily. And tell me how it looks, guys. Tell me how you like it. Tell me how. I try to keep it simple. I try to keep it clean. I try to keep it not too much. You have to read too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I try to make it to a site that I like to enjoy. I like to look at sites that I ain't gonna read a whole lot in 13 paragraphs. So I might take my power, my, my fire down a little more. <laughs> but uh, it's to the point, it's really, 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 really nice. I love it. I'm really proud of myself. I still got more stuff to add on there that haven't even popped up on it. I do do wholesales. So my wholesale part is coming up. I do have a customer request for customization, and you can customize any of your little thing your heart desires. Just hit me up. So, and if you like this person, James Mills, look out for this guy and his little band of buddies on emails that talk about, I want to buy your art, but I can't buy the uh, uh, Venmo or or cash or anything like I only to do check because my wife has a uh, uh, all of my credit cards and stuff. But this is the excuse I was getting today earlier on this email I got. Um, this man must have sent me some money, must have bought my art, but he don't want to give me no information about it. And he wants to send me a check, but he refused to give me his business information or anything like that, his tax ID number or anything. But he just want to send me this check and me to put it in my account and I ship them off my art, which could be legit, you know what I'm saying? I could be just losing out on this money right here, but it's too many fucking people in the world right now that's treacherous and really low down and grimy. And if you can't send me the information that I need from you, you can't do business. And I don't care how much you go waving numbers in my face. You know what I'm saying? In 2,900, I've seen before many of times. So uh, yeah. We're going to keep that pushing. But if you get some strange emails, artists about this, somebody wants to buy your art and they pick the highest amount of all your arts and all this, don't get too excited because it's a scam. It is a total scam. But I like to dig down in these little rabbit holes. So I want to see if you really want to send a check to me. Go ahead, send a check to me. <laughs> Go ahead, dude. Send that check. I want to see if this check is real or not. Cause I'm damn sure I'm gonna go to the motherfucking state office. Be like, okay, let's see if this. But you know, they got emails now where you can send these information about people, these little quotes online. So I was trying to do my own little investigation, y'all. All right, so let's get to. And I'm all. And I'm all done. I'm running my mouth. This should be out the way. Okay, cool. Now what we're gonna do here, like I said, we're going to let's do the splat. We're gonna do the splat in orange. Yeah, orange. So, so the orange is right here. I'm gonna show y'all. I have this neon orange I've been playing with since I started. I've been the colors I have in front of me is the colors I'm using. I ain't gonna get special colors or anything because I'm gonna special colors in front of me in my art table. The colors I'm using. So we're gonna use this neon. 
Let's see what we did yesterday. We're gonna pour it up in here. But I really, really want it to be really marbly. So this is the wet look I'm looking for. So I don't know. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of orange in there, and I'm gonna throw the neon pink in there too. So we're gonna throw that pink. I'm gonna show you. I'm throwing that orange. I can see that. Can you see that? There it goes. I got a little, a little lag here on the screen. We're gonna do that one. A little bit of pink pouring in here. So we got that one and pink. These are the two colors that I am doing right now. If y'all can see that, I'm gonna put it down that way. You probably can see it better than that. But these are little master paint touches that I got. What are the colors we're gonna use right now? Okay, and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. Okay, see? But it's like two to three, I think I put like four drops each. I do a paint attention to my drops. Um, I'm putting a little bit in my black solution. Just putting a little bit of that in there, like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, I am going to put this medium solution. Now I'll put a, a quite a, since this is like two, just one, two, yeah. I didn't look at that when I put that in there really good, but we're gonna let that slide. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up. I'm going to add some more. Okay, we're going to mix this up. Hold on, guys. Let me just get this right there. Get a little stick. Okay, so I'm mixing up the orange, and then I'm going to mix up the pink. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. Let's get a brush. Hold on. All right, so we're going to take this brush. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to move this out the way. Let's move this smoke out the way. We're gonna concentrate on this one right here. And like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm mixing both of those mediums. Hopefully this come out really worthy. So now I'm pouring this on. You know the way that yellow. You might have to put a couple of coats down on this one. So we're gonna go really nice and slow. Nice and slow. I don't want the paint to take up, so I'm going to move all this extra paint and pour it all over the place fast. So that's all we do. There we go. And then you're really good. So I'm just taking all the excess paint, not adding more, and just getting in there. All the excess paint on the brush, just rock it on you. There we go. Make sure you got a smooth coat down. Okay, this brush is not the brush I'm gonna need. So, I'm gonna take another brush. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna use this one. This one's a little better. All right. All right, my guys. I'm looking for. Oh, I messed one up. My messed one of my favorite uh, paint set. Hold on, guys. I left one of my brushes out, and I really like this brush, and it got hard. 
No, nope, that's not gonna work either. Hold on, guys. There we go, I found one. Okay. See, there's a little bit of extra paint right there. I need to smooth out. Don't want no cake up, no build up. All right, so here we go again. Okay, so we're just gonna pour it right there. See how it is? I'm gonna pour it right there, like that. And what I'm doing is just getting those edges all up in there. Taking your time. Just getting all the edges. And I'm gonna let this dry once I get all that inside and all that white out. Now, if you notice right in here, I felt like I didn't put enough white. So it kind of, to me, that's why I said you gotta make sure all the white is really good. Because it takes the texture on top of the other paint and how it's gonna flow on top. And it really gets uh, spotty. The light and dark spots. And you don't want that in your eye. So what I'm gonna do is take this. All right. Get all that extra paint. Make sure it's spread all around. There we go. Now we're gonna just get these little out little buggers. It's real small to take a small thing. Now we're gonna need another top coat on this. So I'm gonna take this off for a second, just real quick on time. Hold on, guys. I need to put this up further in my face. I cannot see on top of that damn table. So give me one moment. I'm painting in. All camera, hold on. And I just wanna get really into our activities. And I'm gonna let this dry. So we're gonna let that dry for a little bit. And then we're gonna try to put the second coat on top. Now, the question is, are we doing the same color with this one? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in and let me see. Yep, we are doing the same color for so like right away. Put it on here. So we are gonna do this bright color. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I need to put these up close to me because I can't see. See how that came out? It's really light. That means we're gonna have to put a lot more. of paint on this. Can you see? So I can see. See how bright that is that came out? If we didn't have that background white, if we didn't coat it with that white, this orange would not pop this color. And you can see some parts of it. where it is uh, 
these layers of more color. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry, I'm got kind of quiet on you But when you paint these edges, when you paint these edges, you really did it just get blurry, or that's my eyesight. So, like I said, you want to get these really clean. So I'm just adding one straight coat line because I don't want no, and I'm using this, doing the same grain, I don't want no uh, cake up, no build up. No paint build up. You want to clean, easy stroke. See? I put it into my bigger. Uh, stroke that I'm going in. I'm not going against the right hand. I'm going straight down. I'm going to pick this up again so I can really get into those crevices right there. Okay. Make sure you have all your right up in there. Okay, right up in there. Okay. And just clean all that extra thick of paint. You want no excess paint in the paint lines on here. That's the key. You want a steady flow and clean line. The reason I just did that was let me get inside. Now I'm gonna let these dry. Now I am gonna do, let these dry and then paint again on top of them. And then put the thick part of it as far as the remember this is mixed with modeling mold, molding 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 <laughs> this is mixed with marbling medium solution so Yeah, I could have done, I would think I should have done another coat of white on this sneaker. So it should have been three coats. I did two coats guys. I think I should have did three coats. I think it came out as dope as it is right now, but it could have been even doper. Really more pot spot on if I did one more coat of the white. So I just want to show you, I'm just painting on this right now up here close to me because it's just faster. More detail, I can see it. All right, so let me show you this. All right, so this is really good. But it does need one more coat of orange once this dry. Okay, guys, yeah, look at this. Why is it very low? What the world? Hold on, guys. Look at me, I think there's a bird now. Okay, guys, look at this. That's what's telling me to end this broadcast because it is just a little blurry on here. But look at that sneaker. Ooh. 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 How do you say that, Mom? Ooh. Oh, you gotta do the back real fast. Hold on. Let's do this back. The pink did not come out like I wanted to, so I'm gonna come back with the pink on top. For the second layer. I'm going to let this definitely dry for a couple of hours before we hit it again with another coat. I just want to clean that in there. Get that coat in. Look at that. That's the back. Let's get this one. Let's just get that in. Really, really good. And then to 
we're just gonna paint that in there. And then we're gonna get the sides. All right. So we got that done. We ready in there. All right, guys. So there we go. I got the back and the front. We're gonna wait and let these really, really dry really good. I think, no, it's not. Oh my God, let me see. I think it needs one more coat. I'm gonna dry it off real fast. Oh my God. We're just going to put one more just right in here. That's right in here. That's real good. I'm going to finally get my day started. Me too, sweetheart. I am about to end this and get my day started because I have so much to do today. But I appreciate everyone else. You know, I. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. L, oh, L, did you hear me earlier about your? Uh, I got your um, package back to me. I don't know if he was listening when I said that. Um, I think I put down your wrong zip code, so I gotta remail it. Um, to uh, tomorrow rather, because I'm doing a bunch of shipping out tomorrow. So I will be remailing it tomorrow, most likely Tuesday. That's when I'm gonna do my shipping, but uh. Yeah, if I don't get out tomorrow, we definitely mail back out. I have to look back on your uh, what you sent me in the uh, Twitter and look at your address. I miss rushing. I was rushing that day, and I wanted to get it out to you, and I put the wrong damn zip code. I don't know what the hell I put it, but it came back to me. So I'll be sending it out again. I apologize for that. I wanted to get that for your birthday week, and I really did. You did, so I apologize though. But I'm gonna resend it again. I got you. And I didn't forget about you. But I did say that. I think you were probably went out to your um drum session yesterday when I spoke about it yesterday. I was contacting you. So I will hit you up, sweetheart. You have a wonderful day, Al. I appreciate you so much. I really do. I really, really, really do. Okay, guys. I am going to wrap this up because we've been on now for three hours and a half, and I have really a lot of stuff to do today. Um, it's a beautiful Sunday. I do have to uh, spend some of these uh, commissions and get stuff done. So I am going to really start signing off in a couple of minutes here. Um, I just want to tell everybody thank you for tuning in to me this Sunday. Um, I appreciate every last one of y'all who tuned in. I please come back for Tuesdays at noon. We will be having another great show for you there on Don't Sweat the Techniques. Uh, that will be interesting. And if you happen to be on Clubhouse, uh, Tuesdays at 9 a.m., we will be having our own Clubhouse discussion at the UCB about art, and it's urban art, street art, and all like this stuff, murals, and females in the game. So right now, I want to definitely thank y'all all for coming on, for rocking with me this morning. It is three or playing hours. We will continue with the sneakers. I won't start nothing on the sneakers. I'll stop here, guys. I won't, you know, start messing with them or anything until I'm online streaming with you. Um, this is the first coat. We all I, I let this dry. I'm gonna let this really dry good, and then hit this again with another coat of the orange. And just one more coat. I think one more coat will do this really, really good. So I am gonna coat it offside. Just one more coat once it's dry, and then when I come back, I'm gonna continue. Marianne.
But I am going to give this one more coat. I'm going to let this dry for an hour or two, and then later on today, I'm going to put it again with the rest of this orange. Um, and make this bit just enough, just a little more thicker as far as the coat from it. This looks really dope. That's a dope sneaker like that. You like that sneakers, right? And this is how I do my sneakers. Now. I do crazy stuff on my sneakers, so I actually have crazy stuff. So this one, we're going to call it the one that's flat. And hell if I know what I'm going to put on it. But right now, we got that. <laughs> So if you're seven and a half and you want a pair of new kicks, I got you covered. We got you covered. So enjoy. I appreciate, like I said, every last one of y'all for rocking with me. Um, having a good time. Being patient with me with my beginning of my setup. I will have to fix this again, my camera setup. Since I moved it out to try to film outside, I messed up my whole setup. So I have to reset up again. So this is going to be fantastic. But I appreciate y'all again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Miss Create. You can check my Miss Create merch out. I'm up live and rocking and rolling with y'all at Miss Create Art, which is M I S C R E A merch.com. That's M I S C R E and the number eight merch. After that, you got home. And I've typed it on my little beginning of this conversation in the comments. You can check it out there. Type it out on top too. So, as always, it's been a beautiful, beautiful day of creating with y'all. You know, I appreciate the days and time to take out to come out and rock with me. I definitely appreciate that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This my sister. This my sister. Somebody said something. Oh. Um, like I said, I appreciate y'all coming out rocking with me. But it is time to say goodbye to all my company. But I'm about to start saying M I C. M I S C R E A, all that you can be. <laughs> oh, I get it, oh, I get it, oh, I get it. But I do appreciate y'all for coming on, rocking with me today. It's been a beautiful transition and a beautiful day of painting. So, rock with me again. Stay tuned, stay blessed, stay happy, stay present. And be kind out there, guys. Truly, seriously, be kind out there. But you never know who a person's had, what type of day they have. So spread that kindness, spread that love, always feel good. And come back to me on Tuesdays and Sundays. I'll see you next Tuesday at noon. And I'll see you next Sunday at 7 a.m. As always, God willing, stay happy. That'd be good out there. Bye and safe.